the number 75, the, the Black Tree Race Crew and GTEs, because he's got a little bit of a fight in his hands with Stevens now. Porsche chasing the Corvette. As Thomas looking left and right, he goes to the right side. He's got a little bit of an overlap, but he's early on the brake. Oh, so ghost contact between them is going to shove the Corvette off track. Uh, so failed. And the number 75, that puts him up to 11th in class. And we just had the car go upside down in the main. Uh, Pat 15, the Pat 3 race crew car has rolled over and it's getting going again. A lot of damage to the 75 Porsche, but it's back on its wheels and it can keep going. ends the next begins reincarnated from the ashes of the previous just another opportunity to be better the majors is like that too and we've done it for a hundred races now and you can expect that we'll do it for a hundred more I am very proud of what we have done but not so proud that we stop trying to be better and in the next race we will welcome to Le Mans and welcome to the 100th race in the major series history. Here are the rules for the race. On the formation lap, the GT1 and Porsche class leaders should leave a 10 second gap to the class ahead. All classes will go green after the leader exits the four chicanes. Please be patient on the start and wait for the cars in front of you to go before you do. During the race, we expect that slower class cars will always take the preferred line and will never block or make a defensive move against a faster class car. We also expect that faster class cars will make passes in a safe way and usually off the preferred line or to the outside around a corner. If a faster class wishes to pass to the inside prior to a corner or chicane, they must have reasonable position on the, on the slower car before turn in. Blatant dive bombs are to be avoided and may be penalized. When racing versus your own class, you are allowed one defensive move, but more than one is considered blocking, which is not legal. Now, qualifying will begin immediately after this meeting at 10 till the hour and will be a 20 minute four lap lone Q session, which is a little bit longer and different than normal, but that's because the lap times are longer <laughs> and different than normal at Le Mans. I hope your race goes perfectly, but if it doesn't, I hope you'll find that highwayman spirit and be back again and again and again. Drivers, start your engines. Ah. Ula, ula. Und? Äh, vierter. Bis jetzt. Ich glaube nicht, dass da noch was kommt. Ja, ich bin sechster oder siebter. Mindestens ein HPD hat sich langsamer qualifiziert als fast alle GT1. Okay. Oh ja. Tru Lalonde. Lalonde. Tru Lalonde. Alter, der ist ja 17 Sekunden hinter der Bestzeit. 
Ja. Yep. Uh. Wie läuft? Na ja. ja. Ich habe meine Bestzeit, meine schnellste Runde ever gefahren. In 4, 5, 8. Sehr gut. Oh, jetzt ja, sind wir auch platt Bis gelandet, ey, boah, ey. Persönlich 3,47,5. Ja, vier da, da, da die, ja. Aber der Trula Londa hat es noch geschafft hier. Hey, 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 hey. Fünf Sekunden runter zu fahren. Ihr guckt euch mal die Zeiten von den ersten Porsches an. Ihr will sehen, shortly. 4, 1, 6, 4, 1, 9, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, Und dann kommen die Traupen mit 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5.414 für Heavy Brad in 10th, Stuart Elder mit 8.428 Wir haben eine Pipi-Waffe, ist geil 8.611 Zinenko, eine 3.34.827 Vergesst nicht, Sprit rein zu tun Wir haben eine 3.35.336 für 14 Simon Fawns, eine 3.36.402 336-497 for Anderson, Mason Miles off of 338-802 Roland Overbury, 341-027 Drew Lalone, 83-42-111 That runs out the HPDs quickly to the... I was about to say the GTs, but the GT1, Motozoglu Taking power, 346-127 Then of course you can see Sean Brown Sam Watley, Forsen Oliver Zimmerman Tom Baum, Put, Wolf, Dietrich Cotto Evo and... Dereni in 27th, uh, and then there's a couple of other that did so, not qualify. Ich werde mal hier den, uh, den, den Kanal wechseln, denke ich. And I think the okay, Porsche Cup cars so. will be just coming down uh, the way ja, shortly now. Ja, das heißt so, dass beim, beim Thorsten der ist noch in the way. Uh, Runde und schalten und der ist laut. Ah, you can't that with me? Yeah, I'm shaking. I'm always worried because I always forget how long the Islamic formation lap is, but also... Nee, I'm always alles aware gut, because ich, I still uh, got in my head the old ich weiß, ich pace car trend, the old pace, pace car tradition, you know? oh. how the pace car would be, it would dart in. in. Und ja, kommt too well. an. Ja. So, it had died in following the durch. actual pits, Ciao. like the actual pit oh. line, which is what none of them do. Short! The track temp is 23 Celsius. Schön aufregend, HPD, really like the look of the M. That's not M for, for Williams or M for Mario. It's an M. Uh, <laughs> okay, let you down after that mistake. So, kein Scheiß machen hier. Yeah, and then you were just they, like, they had the ball here. And, you know. <laughs> they had, the, you know, the, the, they enjoyed that little bit of cute one I told them. And also, we've got a wire alert. We've got a wire alert. Troy Anderson, wire alert. What? What do you mean wire? Got to turn the wire mesh off when saving the image. <laughs> are you, are you seriously roasting people for t not turning off the wire mesh when you yourself joined the session not as a as a racer? Sorry, I just hear. Sorry, is that the trickler coming over? Natürlich schön, wenn die ersten vier sich gleich hier direkt vor mir. Alle direkt. Oh, da fliegen die Flugzeuge, sieht man sie irgendwo. Da oben sind sie. Hey! Habt ihr nur ganz kurz gesehen? Ja, oder kurz. Ja, mein Spiegel ist davor. Okay. Konzentration. Konzentration. The Le Mans 2.4, the major series European sportsman split. Rob, take it away. And as they come into the Porsche Canes, it is going to be Brian Bomesma in single file. And if you can hear the race spotter saying green, green, green. Oh, crikey. Sorry, chaos. What has happened here? I'm trying to get my bearings here. What's the damage here? And there's a Kai and Green Team just coming in front. No! HPD! The lead HPD! Almost getting tangled! Oh, 
Ball ist sehr schön, die erste Kurve. Das ist gerade ein bisschen scharf oben, aber das ist natürlich mega ärgerlich am Anfang des Rennens. Das kann aber einem auch wieder fahren, die Wand ist voll im Tank. Der nächste hinter mir hat sich auch gedreht. Patrick ist direkt hinter mir. Ja, wie geil. Sehr geil. Ich hoffe, dass jetzt sein Auto in Ordnung ist. Patrick ist am fünften Platz. Ich hoffe, ich kann ihn ein bisschen mitziehen im Windschatten. Sieht so aus, der kommt ran. Sollte mal ein bisschen früher bremsen als gerade im Qualify. Patrick ist aber noch da, das ist sehr gut. Mittlerweile allerdings zwei Sekunden weg. Nach vorne 0,8 Sekunden. Hat die drei Sekunden nach hinten weg. Ich 
I think it is. He's lost a few moves. He's under threat now from a Chrono Overbay. I've yeah. never seen that. He he didn't miss the apex. <laughs> he didn't even go through the run. He didn't even go through the tire tire run. He just went through the gravel. That's enough. That's a new one for me. Got to be honest, Rob. That's a new one. Side by side, my god, coming into it, and you can just see them just darting off. I think he just miscalculated the corner completely and entirely. He did that, he had a slow down. Because of that, well, that <laughs> you're not gonna get away with that in the stupid stuff. Let's see that. Yeah, Colin Ward not having a good time with there, especially with the fact that 4,9 seconds nach hinten, der Patrick. Hat ungefähr eine halbe Sekunde Vorsprung. Und 1,3 Sekunden nach vorne. Oh, and Patrick had one second of advantage. Him and Brown are having a, a nice little battle here. Porsche versus the Corvette, not the Porsche, sorry, the Corvette versus the Aston. Um, Porsche and Oliver Zimmerman is now catching up to. Him. I think that little issue with Colin Ward that was being shut off by Ward just caused him to just get bunched up. But top three in the GT ones. Now there is a difference between these three cars. Okay, da kommt irgendwas von hinten. 4,5 Sekunden. Das ist ein LMP. Ja, LMP von hinten. Da müsste mich eigentlich noch vor dem Porsche Kurve kriegen. That is my god having an accident coming into Dunlop. You see him there recovering, but he did have a spin. Ooh. I think he did the uh, the technical term of I overcooked it, man. But he is. Oh, der LMP hat natürlich da die ersten, der zweite so ein bisschen gestört. Oh, Patrick hat auch schon zwei Sekunden Vorsprung. Sehr gut. Schon wieder ein LMP von hinten. Say what it's to <laughs> it's the next one has and uh, <laughs> what Craig said is basically he was like hmm. I always think yeah I always get it's best pay text F1 podcast and who needs to get the F1 podcast he just he didn't even say that Miss Apex Rockets he just said nothing no no he just said Miss Apex I 
Oh, Patrick wurde gerade überholt. Zurückgefallen auf den sechsten Platz, wie es aussieht. You can just see on those timing towers, by the way, of course, that is gap to the leader. And you can just see how, uh, after that first lap incident, Ujusma uh, has got quite a bit of a lead. And he just went purple, by the way, with a 3.32.2. Oh, yeah. Wow, that, that's actually quite a good time when you think about it. Um, Benello is matching him. He did a so he's a good cool trunk. Oh, yeah. Benello at 2.88. Uh, in fact, Ponti only did a 42.620. So, looks like it's really out there. Remember, this two hour race, they will have to do two pit stops. Oh, yeah. Um, there'll, be, um, there'll be curtains if they try and, uh, you know, extend their lead. This is actually. Yeah, and ganz schön ab da vorne, eh? Uh, Wahnsinn. Part of the track list that has special rules for all four tires. So, it's a. No, it, no, it doesn't. Not. It's only Red Bull Ring and Spa. Ah, okay, so I got it wrong. I mean, yeah. now it's my turn. It's fine. It's fine. Um, what do you, you expect? You know, it's just, it, this track, the, the joke is always, if you get an off-track at Le Mans, you're doing something wrong. Uh, uh, well, it, technically speaking, you can tell the point where you actually do get it right. It's like, goddamn. Okay, Patrick, for a while, 10 seconds hinten dran. He's doing a lot of, uh, <sighs> short round, almost. Got an off track, got, got a time penalty. But it's one of those things that you understand once you drive around it, you understand where those time penalty zones are in terms of where your wheels are and where you've got to go. This is three stops, I apologize. Of course, it's three stops, it's 2.4 hours. I do apologize. It's, it's two hours and 25 minutes. So, yeah, you do get from time to time, you understand exactly what you're looking at in terms of time penalties. So, that, you know, <laughs> I was doing the higher spelling of Sean, which is S E Father A N. Instead of Sean, it's an S H A W N, so my bad. He is the highest as well. <sighs> the highest ranking Chelsea boy uh, in the GC1 class right about now. It's going to be interesting to see how they uh, stack up because uh, Merck got so blue. Really has stacked a three second, three and a half seconds ahead of Kurtz uh, Oliver Zimmerman. Very, like, like the stickers on that car. Oh, look, the sticker car. It looks like the sticker car. It looks, it's very, um. Uh, it's red. What do you mean, on the green here? Yeah, he's talking about this stuff with the, uh. Nah, he's, he's, got, he's got a little sign on the back saying, How's my driving? Cool 1 800 feet dust. <laughs> oh, I just see it. And by the way, by the way, look at Sean Brown, right? That is the power of the Corvette. They're gonna go side by side in to Mulsanne. Yeah, Zimmerman can't do it. Just oh, Zimmerman will just, just yeah, just have a replay of that. Because he can try, but well, I think he's trying to, it, like he slowed down to let him by. I'm trying to make it, but I mean, it's what it happens now. 2.3 seconds. And what gets me? Just going into Molson 1. So Molson 1, the gap is one second. Sean got that overtake gun at the top to Molson. So he went down the second part of Molson 3, into Molson 2, and then down to Molson 4. And managed to get that second. Now, yes, he's in switchstream range. But you don't expect to overturn a second just like that. And yes, say that he may have not had a good exit out of Molson 2, but a lot of it is that correct. <laughs> Just that speed difference is just major. Uh, you don't think about it, but it really just shows. How Elf Sekunden ist der Patrick zurück am sechsten Platz. Puh, ich bin immer noch am vierten mit 0,8. I think that's what you look, you know, that's what you look at around here. Simon Thorne, by the way, eight position in the HPDs is under threat from the three-way gang of 
Roy Anderson and Roberto De Filippi. Das sagt der Spritz, noch 70 Liter, 11 Runden, dann das erste Mal in die Box. Ist noch was hin. Elvis Vanello is one of them. He actually was purple in sector three, I think, according to the notes that I have. And he just needs to convert that now into uh Okay Thomas. Starting okay, to get to starting to get to grips with what the car wants to do, this is what he wants to do. And it's gonna be a bit difficult, especially given the fact that you know it's it's two hours, so Practically all of the all of the effects of the 24 hour, but they're all driving the car by themselves. There's no teams here. In fact, we do have smoke on the grid. Or not on the grid. Smoke on the Nissan bit between one and two. I think that was having a Perez because he's lost quite a lot of time. Two thorns, and I was about to say probably DRS range, but this is the Formula One. None of these guys have to get Boah, ey. Ich hab das Gefühl, in diesen S-Kurve, da verliere ich unheimlich. Boah, ey, muss ich abreißen lassen. Ich kann nicht mehr. Stimmt, ich war gerade noch bei 0,9 und jetzt bin ich schon bei 1,6. Also da in den Porsche und Ford Kurven oder Porsche und Corvette Kurven, wie die Dinger da heißen, äh, äh, es läuft nicht so gut. Boah, ein bisschen spät angebremst hier. Wo bist du? Ich weiß, ich muss abreißen lassen. Ich bin gerade mit dem dritten Platz. Ich bin jetzt gerade noch die ganze Zeit zweiten mitgefahren, aber ich muss die ganze Zeit pushen, um mitzuhalten. Okay. Ein bisschen langsamer Shot machen. Oh, hat er Fahrfehler gemacht. Slowdown anscheinend. Oh, ich gebe doch nicht, ey. Ja, nix. Der hat jetzt so scharf gebremst, okay. viel, viel stärker als nötig war, habe ich Kontrolle über mein Auto verloren. Eingeschlafen? Nein, nein, nur quer gestanden, Karre abgewirkt. Das ist der Tom van Putt wieder bei mir dran. Ah, jetzt sind sie weg vor, ne? egal. Schwierig, an die Jungs da vorne dran zu kommen. Brad Rose ist right here, he's on the camera. So I think, yeah. Look at him. Oh, he's in the spec. He's in the ninth position, he's kind of easy to do. 2.7. Und ständig kommt von hinten wieder immer wieder ein und derselbe LMP. Langsam also reißt mir auch so ein bisschen der Kippungsfahrt <lacht> ein, der Windschatten ab zu den Kollegas da vorne. Das wird äh, schwierig. Ja, 10 Sekunden nach hinten. Hopefully one day we do find a cure, you know, we, we help find a cure, help find a help. Okay, just to say, by the way, this is Sean Brown. Oh! Yeah, that's uh, that's what we want to see. I think the front of the rear is uh, him going off. I now lost the rear end of Oxoglu in a very big 
very big way. I have another replay. I want to see what happened to Zero. This comes through the Ford curves. Slide! Oh, that is not going to be a happy floor by the end of this race because that is quite a massive slide that he put himself through coming over the four curves and a massive correction he's had to make. Get back on track. So, Sam Watley's just come into the zone. Mike Gaunt has just thorough put in. So, he Aww. was... Yep, he was, at the, he was near the back of the field, unfortunately, after that first lap incident, but he has thorough put in. Uh, one thing I am curious to see is uh, Adam Fatabonte is closing the gap to Elvis Manella. The gap is now less than a second, but Manella is getting held up by traffic. I mean, we through. Can gerne mitspielen da vorne. Aber die lassen mich nicht. Die sind einfach schneller. I know that feels. I know how horrible that feels. You know how horrible that feels, Rob. You oh, yeah. won the lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I would like to, to, you know, put it at this point. You know, it's um. It's not fun when you're coming through the, the curves, and uh, it's, 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 and in other in other words, pretty too bad. The paint of the day. You just seen out wrong. Looking at Mert Oxoglu, 12 seconds ahead of Sean Brown, and pulling away. Actually, he's starting, he's continuing to pull away at a quite a fast rate. Actually, I would have thought. <laughs> More of a fight being put up, but unfortunately, we still do not have. They've got nothing for him, as uh, Bob Spill would say. They've got nothing for him. Ooh, well, I, I do say that. Sean Brown putting in a blistering sector just took a second off him because we're also making a mistake coming out of Indy. And what do I do say that? What do I do say that? Sean Brown now loses. Yeah, a little bit of a sketchy Indian on Arj from Marcus Oglu. By the way, his lap times, 47.9, not including his first lap, 47.9, 47.5, 46.8, 47.2. putting consistent time yeah. in. Well, Brown had a couple of issues in 47.9, then a 53, then it went back to that 47s again. We're at 47.3, then because of that spin, it was a 50 flat. So, you know, the, the, the form it takes a 47 here, uh, we'll wait and see, and of course, for them behind because even Brown is starting to pull away from the rest of the field. Tom Van Put just give you an idea he was in P3, 40, 49, just nothing but 49. Very consistent there for Van Put as he continues to pull away himself for P3. You could argue he's bubble racing right now, he's got nobody with him, but he's just keeping those eyes, maybe not keeping eyes on the Delta, but he knows he's going to be the with this. they get another 49. In fact, he's about to cross the line again. Really curious to see what he, what he does this time. Uh, Brown gets an embattled lap, by the way. He had a slowdown at the end of the 373. So he's over. Van Put will come up across the line of 49.9. So look, look at that consistency for Van Put. You've got to afford that consistency. It's working just for him right now in P3 in the GT1s. Yeah, but he is also too Why is John McClintock like 15 seconds a lap faster? It's like, wait, hang on. <laughs> Hold on one second. That's not a, that's not a GT1. This might require the stewards to look at this for a second. It really does feel like this, this, this kind of like a precursor to the LMP2 GTE before nowadays because you know that, G, that LMP2 is never going to pull away from the GT1. And it also helps that you know Van Put is driving a full cool thing. In fact, did he just match Twitter at the end there? That, 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 that LMP, that is really much better than the GT. But then again, just look how easy it goes on Brown and Son 1. So. Maybe, maybe so. But here's the rest of the, the HPDs, by the way. A little bit of a battle for him. Yeah, for fourth position, Yambroni and <coughs> Sebastian Sianko coming through the Porsche Curse. We also do have a battle for second position. Adam Ponti has now started gunning for the P2 spot back away from El Elvis and Looking to see if 
if it does end up, you know, being a long haul fastest, now they'll shape up and who with brackets of potential between these two. Good luck, pal. Now, Good luck, I'm pal. kind of confused Go as right. to why Jan Barney is running okay. a, um, <clears throat> a McLaren. A McLaren. But, uh, you know. Oh, hang know. on, hang on, no, hang on. I, I, I can say how this works, right? Because McLaren used Honda when they went to Indy <laughs> Cooper, and this is the Honda performance <laughs> ARX, right? It, yeah, it's part of it. Yeah, it's part of it. I can make it work. Just now. Biggest stretch I've ever imagined by entire life. Thank you. How is that the biggest stretch? Warte, just zurück auf den siebten Platz. I'd like to know how that's the biggest stretch. <sighs> we have got some other battles brewing. Uh, we've got an interesting battle. Uh, Jack Weddle just let the team of the Super Crew for P2 in the Porsches. Uh, also, behind them, the Porsche Jack and Jan Belzer. They, those two have been battling throughout the series this year. Uh, those two are battling at the moment. Jan Bruni just flitting them. Bruni getting footmarked there, really, as he came into the Porsche. Bruni's in a battle himself with his battle today. I love how Brad Walsh just went. I, I don't think you heard that on the radio. He just went there with too many HPDs, followed by a couple of HPDs. How could there, there be too many HPDs? Hey, man, I don't know. I think there's enough HPDs. I don't think there's enough. By the way, you just had a full finish on your favorite car. 60% of you agree well. that, um, the guy with the same the is the, uh, the best your favorite car. I'm kind of surprised that I would have thought one of the, the, the GT1s. I'm going to nine runners in total in that category. It's um, probably best it's to see why. Car. What do you mean it's a tough car? Right, I know that. Well, you understand that it's uh, semi-sequential, so you go do a little bit of blipping. On what? Um, Six seconds, the next no, LMP is no, 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 yeah, so. No, the HPD is fantastic. Like the, the one thing that oh, the one thing that I always struggled with the HPD was you had to keep a lot of speed. You had to put a lot of speed through the corners, and I always found myself taking the speed up in my GT decks. So you got to keep that speed up without losing the power. It was such a fun car to drive. It was, it was the first car when I got to what was ILMS. So sorry, sorry, sorry. European Sprint Series. Uh, We're gonna have the ACO on our doors. Again, do you know the ACO's gonna fall on my door? No. Oh no, oh no. I'm watching my door. If I hear any <laughs> knocking, I know it's the ACO. <laughs> ACO, open up. And by the way, we do have this battle between Jack Weddle and David Wilson Jr. Five tens of seconds separate the two of them. Jack Weddle unfortunately having a winning position to Wilson at some point. Wilson taking a very deep line and coming through the port of curves on towards Carson. Just a little bit of tire smoke coming up as he has to correct the car. You know, it kind of looks like he's... Yeah, he's on the <laughs> The only comment that I can really give is how unsubtle they look. Like, they do not look stable whatsoever at any time. On the straight, in a corner, braking, accelerating. These well, cars are not... You, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with the braking. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta take a little bit earlier with the braking. Um, remember we talked to Josh Thompson, and he mentioned how, you know, he he, he was a uh, PSC driver before he put the car. Uh, I think driver. he still is. I think he has to... No, he has to qualify. He did not make it. He had to qualify for next year. Uh, but he is still one of the top drivers then, when you think about it. I mean, you know... Ooh. Oh, that was a collision. Yeah, I got Wilson. Yeah, sorry. That was a close one there. Almost had the. No, it wasn't a close experience. one. They did. They did hit each other. Oh, did they? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's, um, that's the McNish experience. When I see a prototype in a GT car having a crash, then that's a McNish. Uh, no! Oh, you see that sliding Weddle? Hold it, hold it, hold it! Good hold. He's going to lose position. He might lose another one because everybody else is going to get speed. He okay. He's sort of slow down. He's lost seven seconds this evening when he finally gets up to speed. Was war der drittplatzierte? That's a lot of time he's lost there. <sighs> <sighs> oh. 
it's it's the slow spin, it's a slow slide, the kind of one you don't you don't like. Was 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 war der drittplatzierte? I tell you what though, a lot of these drivers that we're seeing in the Porsche Cup Cup, they drove the Porsche when it was the Nordschleife, when it was the Nova in 2.4. So they've got a lot of experience in how to drive these cars. Some of them really enjoy driving these cars. I do know that Jack Weddle had a fantastic last finish in these cars, so he knows what to experience, you know, he knows what he's, he's dealing with. Unfortunately, that just did not work for him. All that time is, you know, it's just gone now for him. So Rob, there's a free car battle on the HPDs, and I love seeing this. You are able to be pleased with the Perez, and I think Perez, I think that damage might be coming to the air. That that nose is bent, and I think that damage may be coming to uh, Horton. He just lost another position. He started the lap sixth. He's now eight. Troy Anderson's right behind him. He's losing time on Philippe's. Would not be surprised if he goes down another position. And to be fair, they're what. 30 minutes into the race, he's still got another 30 minutes, 20 to 30 <coughs> minutes before he pits. Especially given the fact that, you know, oh, I really do think it's not even the nose, I think it's just the damage, he, I think it's, I think it's friction on that tire, simulated friction on that tire in the front leg. Because that, the, that, the bodywork is pressing up against it in a massive way, I think it is really starting to attack his top three, I think. Oh, quite deep. And his cornering ability as he has to defend Troy Anderson's friends from getting by though without any hesitation going wide or coming out of Indy. And he's keeping nice and tiny. Come on now. Oh no, that's but uh, Perez it, it's gonna be a, a struggle for him now to get back. He needs to get back and get that down with Perez. Probably probably one of the earliest standard pit stops. Or sort of have to take a bit stop with no take no fuel and just get repairs. Um, 15 kilometers an hour different between him and Anderson. Yeah, I mean, look at Simon Thorns. Yeah, look at Simon Thorns coming up, though. Like, that, oh, that car is not... That car is poorly, like... <laughs> I must admit, though, Simon Thorns making that move around the outside, HPD on HPD, was, a, was actually a good move, though. All right, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wounded HPD, but... You um, don't make it an HPD move. I was going to say, he looked, it looked like he was... Like, but he, he changed his mind, so he's coming And I think at this point, you take a fuel stop. Even if it takes you off sync, this may be your, this may be your lot, like, your, your final pit stop that you're taking his first. Um, we'll wait and see. Hopefully he's got a quick repair left. Uh, there is a little bit of damage on that wing point, so I think he may just come in, take everything. And, uh, I think Rob may be getting the popping when he's ready. Awesome stuff, mate. Good one. Ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. There yeah, you go. quick repair. Yeah, quick and I think, yeah, he's taking the fuel. He's taking the fuel. Does he take the tyres? Who knows? But he definitely Ooh, he arrived. Well, it, it depends. It's only, what? It's only lap 10. <coughs> About 30 minutes, you know, 34 minutes gone of the race. So it's a very early stomp. Would you get tyres on the first stomp? I thought it all. Trying to work that out. Very interesting. Um, but by the way, I was just paying attention to class. Um, and uh, 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 Eric Elvis Manello just set the class of black cars a one thirty one seven two nine. Uh, one one thirty one. Three thirty one seven two. Wow. That's how I haven't done the monster. That would probably be like how fast the X twenty ten would have gone, like the Red Bull X twenty ten. That's like name of a car. What it does mean is he's closing the gap with Mark Robinson and also pulling the wave of the deposit. It really is amazing. It's called <coughs> Mark Robinson. What? He didn't say Brian. He said Bam Bones. Bam Bones! <laughs> So, eingestellt, dass er voll tanken soll und einmal komplett Reifen wechseln nach dem ersten Stück. Now, in my defense, I believe that we're broadcasting that you only have a watch button, so I click the button to get watch. My own fault. My own fault. Je nachdem, wie die Reifen nach einer kompletten Tankfüllung aussehen, 
wollte ich dann entscheiden, ob ich beim zweiten Mal auch wechsle oder... Dann versuche die letztlichen... Ich glaube noch äh, 45 Liter. Auf die letzten 45 Liter dann äh, mit, den, mit, mit dem selbigen Reifensatz dann noch fahren. Here comes the shouty boy. Thank you, bud. Having to slow down. I think it was because of the slowdown he incurred. I think he was just trying to serve it on that straight, if he could. If he could. But he isn't. And we see more of the smoke. I think it's because somebody, somebody's definitely locked it's, up. Yeah, he's uh, full cyst again. Having a bit of a lock up run in front there. He's going to go a lap down in a minute. <coughs> Unfortunately. Not been the best race there for Paul so far, but he's still in. He can still gain points, you know, he can still have, you know, at the end of the day, you're doing two hours and 25 minutes for him, team. You want to finish. You know, this is the challenge. I mean, most drivers will be doing this type of time. Scheiße, voll weit rausgekommen, ey. Uh, you know, a, a full day race around here. Um, you know, careful my words, Rob. You know, if they take part in the VRS Global Endurance Championship round here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it 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 will it will not be the Ah, scheiß Dreck. Okay, eine Sekunde, eine Sekunde, eine Sekunde scheiß Zeit. It has taken the hit. It has taken the hit for the Global Endurance Championship. But but also, let's be honest. I mean, everyone would say, why is it a European Endurance Championship if we're going to Road America? Seabrook. You know, you know, it's meant to be European, so we put the global. Hey, we can go everywhere now. We're going to Kota. We're going to Suzuka. We're going to Monza, you know? So, yeah. it works. It works. Yes. Yeah. I really do think Wilson by the service is on board with or looking at Wilson Jr. Car number 39, finally the car number 48 of John Lang. And I, I really ah. felt like he ate ah, so a chain in a way that would have incurred a slowdown. Did Und Slowdown tut schon weh, je nachdem, wo man den kriegt. So, get on there, but, you know, it's a, it's a lonely road out there for him if he has to, if he has to go. You see him now. Oh, sorry, Rob, what's happened, what's happened to Zimmerman? What's happened to Zimmerman? Zimmerman's got damage and he's slowed down. He's lost it, he's lost it. Oh, he had a collision. Collision with the lap car of Paul Kutcher. Bliss. Oh, squirreling out. Cliss coming around the outside to pass him. Oh, and he's spun again. Oh. Oh, unfortunately, he's all on Zimmerman. Span, and unfortunately, Cliss had nowhere to go. And, well, essentially had to, uh, had to put in the oh yikes and slam the brakes, but he didn't. Patrick is on the We just here. I'm just going to keep it on the replay as we come back to. Uh, let's have a look at this move made by Ian Roney. Stuart, sorry, Stuart Elder going up into fifth on Ian Roney. I think Ian had either a slowdown or something of the like because they move here. We can see it now. Play by play. Let's nice move on the outside there by Stuart Elder going past Gulf. The second taking Gulf. Coming up towards Indy and securing the field. Almost looks like that. I think because he went off, he went over that hump on the curve from the exit of Mulsanne. So it almost looks to me like he just, you know, unright, uh, unsettled the car and just didn't have to speed. So I think that may have happened. May get a bit lucky here because I don't think Elder's going to be able to get past Watley. He isn't, so Bruni is able to keep up with him there. The traffic working in his favour. But by the way, Brian uh, Bull uh, took his fastest lap back uh, of three thirty eight eight seven. So despite the gap is almost ten seconds, 
the battle between Brian and Elvis is actually really fun to watch right now because they're trying to fight each other as much as they can and it's The challenge being for me is just like having to do the math because it's 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 groups of twos, but is there anybody else doing the math? Anybody else doing the math? Is there anybody anybody else in need of doing the math? Because we're trying to see as well if uh, there's any potential for other vehicles or the cars to start doing long shots. I'm, I'm trying to figure out now, but I can say what's so. I'm seeing a plan put together. A big old plan. Well, in that case, don't forget we have our membership tiers on the channel. Join the crew. I'll give, it a, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10, thank you very much. <laughs> Shout out all the other track counts, tutus.com as well, providing these camera angles. There is nothing better uh, than, watching most, uh, than watching the most up straight with that camera looking down the straight. Nothing better, and the track count tutu does provide us with some fantastic cameras. It does really feel like you're watching the <coughs> race here. When you think about it, when you just see these camera angles, it really does feel like, hey, this is the real life thing. Love them. So, shout out for these fantastic cameras. Right. Of and an unmoving for the John there. I said it's a wireframe warning, but Anderson did this by accident in the last race. I reckon he's done it on purpose this time. Maybe he heard you complaining about the wireframe and just said, nah, I'm going to do it for you. Well, maybe that's Ross well, maybe if he's doing the if he's doing what he's doing right now and defending very well, I think he's trying to defend himself from the sheer roasting that trying to do. Because I mean, no, actually, I gotta, I've got to, I've, I've got to change everything. He's done this on purpose. All the, all the, all the sponsors are above the wireframe. This is on purpose. He's actually done it on purpose. And by the way, Brian Bowman comes into the pit, as does Vanello. Now that gap was nine seconds, and all of a sudden Benello is wagging his tail. Seems a good nach vorne, seems a good nach hinten. Has he, has he had a slow pit entry? No, they're all the bombs right now. That's not spun far, yeah. Yeah, but the gap is quite. No, it isn't. I apologize. No, look like they were really. You were just, you were just like. I, I was just thinking to myself. I don't know that the pits exist. And like. You can just see, like, he's only gotten to his box now, and Bomsma has been in the box for the last 10 seconds, counting. You can just see, it is starting to get to that point where we are starting to see pit stops, and you can just see in the background there, more cars making their entry, so it is, it is prime time right now for the pit stoppers. If they need to make a pit stop, now is the time to do it, and the GC1s are coming to the pits. The big old boys with, um, big old boys with the GT, Cup car toys. I'm gonna to stay out from now. <laughs> Make a way to stay that way. You, you tried your best. So I'm, gonna I'm not gonna try to you. <clears throat> Remember, these are the Porsche GT3s, but they're not the Porsche GT3. You know what I mean? They're With Porsche the GT3, the GT3 Cup. It's not yeah. the GT3 R. <laughs> you got the GT3 C and a GT3 R. Today, of course. Do what does the R for? Here's a question. What's the R stand for? The R? Um, racing, I'm gonna guess. That do pull, see what I see what our artist thinks. <laughs> Let's do a, you, you see the poll function? You're gonna you are going to you are going to use all of it. Love it though. Love it though. So I'm wondering. If these two come into the pits now, it does make sense. Uh, everybody else is coming to the pits. Um, do they take an extra lap? I'm not entirely sure. One thing I did want to say about the Sam Watley has retired the car. Uh, Sam Watley. Hey Sean, thanks for that little break you gave me. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't well, so really see it for a second. That. I think he had a bit of a bit of issues earlier on in the race. No problem, man. I got you. Well, they do not pit 
this time the uh, I think they're like, going in or going well, out? One thing I, I wanted to point out, Rob, was out. with all these little bits of damage that these cars are getting, I reckon these GT1 and uh, Cup car drivers are happy the HP Do you know why? Wait, what? With all these little bits of damage that the Porsche Cup cars and GT1 are getting, yeah. I reckon they're happy the HPD is here. Do you know why? And why? And why? The HPD doesn't have any damage on it. Oh yeah, but crikey. Porsche, yeah, but the Cup car and the GT1s have any damage on it. Oh yeah, so that everyone. Oh yeah, so that everyone has the old damage. Yeah, I, I get yeah. I get what you mean now. Yeah, I was trying to think myself. What are you talking about? about damage models here. What? What's going on? <laughs> I, I I know a lot of people in the Hudson uh, GT Challenge where the GT Mustang <sighs> place have been asking for the HPD to be put in, but unfortunately the HPD does not have the new damage model, so I racing are not implementing it at the moment. In the future. Who knows? We'll wait and see. So, Eric Feek is in the pits. That has to be an undercut. That has to be an undercut, if anything. Been in for quite a while. I don't think he's got any damage. Um, he's had a lot of damage before. And he's either he's taking it or he's just taking a lot of fuel. Nope, he's he's done. And I'm just looking at what my timer says. He's already at a minute seven from cone. My timer will be cone to cone. So it'll be interesting to see what his full time is. Cone to cone. He's coming out right now. This gives us an idea. One minute 19. I don't think he took any repairs. In, you know, he took repairs when he was up on the, on the jacks. Like you do. But apart from that, nothing else. So Eric the first approaching. of the cup cars to come in. And Patrick Nice came in as well. And there you go. Patrick Nice probably did not take tyres. 47 seconds. No, he did take tyres. So Eric Feet must have got some damage repaired there. That's a 30 seconds difference. The is 48 seconds. Yeah. Wait. Anyway. Anyway. Stefan Ross. Sorry. Now we're at Troy Anderson and now we're running. They are all pitted. They are all together right now. Look at them. Elder right. is about four tenths ahead of Anderson, who himself is four tenths ahead of Brony. Almost got a slowdown there coming out of the Italian Corvette, but he's okay. One of the other guys just finishing their pit stops, Fawns and Yushio, are pitting as well. Stefan Ross will have to pit soon as well because he, uh, he pitted lap one. But these three, they're the closest things we've got to a battle right now. Well, they are battling. They so. are battling. <laughs> You, you keep cutting yourself up. It's a badly battle. It's the battle for now what is sixth position. Except Stefan Rothman still has to pit. 12 laps into his stint, according to our top stop coach. So he will have to pit in the next lap. <coughs> I think it is going to be next lap when he has to pit. We do have this. This is on the board to Edo looking backwards. But that's Troy Anderson and Jan Bruni. Um, and if Rossman pits in the next up, it'll be the battle for the fifth position. 7.0. That really is crashing back up, right? Uh, you know, there is a bit of a difference between the two of them, but not that big. Left side. Clear left. It's sort of a long battle brewing during in the HPD in fourth position. Between Stefan Rossman and Sebastian Sneckup. Thank you. So you can hear that is a Corvette. Still keep the pace. Oh, sorry, what? I can't hear you. Yeah, I, I, neither, I, all I can hear is a read. <laughs> 
That's what the R stands for, GT3 R then, surely. <laughs> well, I thought that then as an option, but it's like, I've got no votes yet. Uh, no, well, to be fair, it might be that's what the R and the C8 R stands for. <laughs> so, can we go? The C8. Rooney did not get a good good exit at Tet Rouge and he lost he lost about four kilometers an hour and Anderson originally out of Tet Rouge gained four kilometers over to Elder so it's been a slow burn in him catching up to Elder but if he gets a good exit here out of Arnage I think we may be seeing an Thank overtake you. here gap is half a second between the two of them just see as they start getting up to speed and uh, they're matching each other so no I don't think we'll see a <coughs> here but they are hitting a two-car traffic. There is a small gap between the two cars ahead. That is forced on Oliver Zimmerman and Tom Van Foot. We are about a second between each other, but nowhere to go right now. Elder's going to have to put the brakes on. Anderson's right behind him. He'll get a move, hopefully, at the exit here. Starting gets in. Trying to make it. It's going to be a late one. He can't make it. He cannot get on the throttle. So he's going to have to wait until the Corvette S's before he gets by. Can he get by both of them? Look at the speed between the two classes here. He's only going to get by one. Can Anderson get by? No. No. He's getting overtaken from the Brody. So Brody comes in and then there's a blinking there from Zimmerman. All of a sudden, we've got a massive gaggle here. Javier Perez and Felipe is just thinking, maybe I can come in for this. You know, maybe I can join in. Because these cars can't get by. And look, finally, Elder gets by Van Foot. Well, you've got Brody and Anderson. They're battling, but Anderson's going to try to go around the outside. No, 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 that's definitely a slow down. He yep. ate so all of the curve and then more, yeah, and Perez getting back seven to the Oh, this one's actually. Interesting. Sorry, Zimmerman. Oh, sorry, Anderson goes off. Anderson's off, but Zimmerman let them by. And now it's going to be almost Thanks. three wide with the lead to by Anderson. Well, it's all gone wrong for Troy Anderson here. He was at the front of this train at one stage, and the traffic's kind of not played well for him. According, according to some people that pose it, the, uh, the ore in the GT3 or in the book doesn't strike up. Which I guarantee you it doesn't. I was wondering why Zimmerman was going, you know, down the pecking order. This just happened. Oh, oh, oh. that car does not look happy. Who kept it out of the wall though? A slide and a twitch into Indianapolis, and that car has got all sorts of unsettled. I, that, I, 
don't even want to watch the cockpit because you're breaking sorry you're breaking you're slowing down for indy and that happens what do you do like if that's me i'm panicking that is well held by Zimmerman. wow that's uh oh crikey zimmerman <laughs> what happened here? I don't think Gucci. I think Gucci didn't realize. Did he not realize the car was there? Oh, I think. Oh, I think. Uh, let's, let's see here. It's in slow mo. Oh no. Oh, he. Yeah, that's on him. Yeah. He just. He turned in. Way too hard. And just... But at the same time, I'm not. I'm not saying anyone's at fault here. Simon Thanks, Ford, Ford, Ford isn't that. turning for the apex. He is. No, he isn't. Yeah, I, 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 watch it in slow I, I will guarantee you, he is. But uh, you, you look at the far chase from Ford, and you look at you, and like, with no offense to him. I guess because it is, I am thinking, yeah, it is that corner. Also, scheiß, meine Bassschäger sind ausgefallen. Oh no! We'll judge it right here. Der scheiß Mini war stärker, der kommt. It's at one quarter speed. We had the overhead, and he was at the corner, was going through that corner. What's the problem? Like he was I, aiming I, for, he was I aiming for the right hand. He was aiming for the right hand side of the Porsche car that was there. I, I think, think it was the car. Sorry, I'm looking. At, I think Yoshio expected him to turn in. Oh, just the box. Yeah, no, no, no. Ah, left side. Like there is no yeah. more space in that. But also Porsche has he had no problem with it. Ah, I have already two Dreher. Uh, I say it takes two to tango. Just feel that they were both not doing the right thing. Yeah, we have to be careful. Yeah, we have to be careful. Yeah, we have to be careful. I can tell you they are legit dark. Yeah, they are legit dark. The Charleston, sorry. And Pasto, yeah. So, no, I'm not blaming, I'm not putting blame on people. Uh, just, just a mix-up. Yeah, Ronnie chasing down Javier Perez for sixth position. As that is Javier Perez having to deal with traffic. Remember, Perez has already taken his fast repair. Ronnie has oh, his oh, oh. So, Ronnie can take the front two. Perez. Perez might try and play defensively, but might not try and run away defensively all the way through. Now, we'll just see how they shape up coming from Perez. Perez. Does Ronnie make it good on the first Perez? On this last lap, he is actually already two times. I'll break her when you go. I'll break her when you yeah, go. But, through the Porsche curves, do we see any effects? There is dirty air, there is dirty air, but we gotta remember, Bernie had to go around the outside of a GT into Arnage, so he lost a lot of the exit speed of Arnage. That's how Perez is trying to get the head up behind. That is Philippe's overtaking Troy Anderson using, I believe that is because of the slip stream. No, it actually isn't. Troy Anderson went wide in Porsche. Was that a. What's happened there? Yeah, Troy Anderson was putting in the purple lap. Up until that very, that very moment. I think Anderson got, I think Anderson got a little bit spooked by the GT, just get the GT1 having a little bit of a moment at that corner there. So a little bit unlucky. And oh, look oh. at the traffic like now. Yeah, that's happening. Like, and you can just see, and that was very right close to being much worse than it really was. So back to that Perez Bruni battle, by the way. And guess who's got held up by traffic again? Now Bruni. Because the Porsche Cup cars have come in for their pit stop for them. That's what we were just looking at. They, they've all, most of them have come in for their pit stop. I mean, Wang hasn't come in for their pit stop yet. Um, but it's held up Rooney again. The gap's 1.7. He's just not getting the, uh, the best of it. And also, I'm really scared when I see a prototype go down the middle of Mulsanne. 
That is not where a prototype should be. That is where a GT car should be. Not a car that is... Please stay off the middle. Uh, HPD, please, please. This, this is where Rob goes. Why should they stay off the middle? Why should they stay off the middle, Craig? Because this is a real... It's just a real world road. And a road is getting oh. a road in paint. Sculpted, or whatever you want, in the fact that the top of the, the middle of the, of the road is the highest bit, and then it just it, then it <coughs> slopes down because that's how the rainwater just goes to the middle of the road. Because the top is the top is the highest point, and it rolls down, the, so it goes to the sides. So in a GT car, you go to that middle because of the high point. That's the, you know the downforce. You know you get sucked in the car because you've got you've got more less gap between this you, the base of your car. And the road, but in a prototype, it's already flat. Which is why, if you ever drove driven this car, you can get a track on game if you for it, and never racing game, you go down the middle in like a LMP1 or an old cool, old school Group C car, you'll hear or you'll see the scraping when you go down the middle of the track because you should, of the road, you should be doing that. And you do get fall damage, you can get fall damage from doing that in a prototype. So, GT1? Yes. Oh, yeah, and yes. leave it. I went on the camera for him to show the dog bear livery because it's looking, it's looking mighty. Mighty. Um, it's mighty, really. <laughs> and uh, the camera. It's tight as well. Yeah, that's right. I can't believe it. Oh, I might have done so, yes. I might have done so. Might have been on that cursing. So I'm loving these battles outside of the, the front of the field in the HPD. Anderson and Philippe are having a great battle. Bruni was having a great battle with Perez, but the traffic is really not playing well for him right now. I mean, he's lost. He, he was 0.8 of a second behind Perez at the start of this lap. He's now three seconds. He's lost two seconds because of traffic. I mean, it swings and roundabout when it comes to like class racing. But Perez is able to like, Catch up to Elder, but well, Bernie's been unable to catch up. And that, that is a shame for Yad. He might be able to keep going. I'm just, curious, I'm just Eric Feek having a massive accident. He just came out of the wall and couldn't put the pressure curves. That is not what he needs to do. Give me out of the wall. Oh, the Let's have a look at that again. Yeah. And on board with the gyro. Do we see the fear? Oh, we saw the fear. That is a, uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. That was a close one. i just give you the full effect here. This is what he can see. Grass takes him away. Oh, he's trying to keep it on the wall. I guarantee you he was screaming. He was screaming, no, 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 no. No! Going, sorry. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> so we've got in our nine car field for GT1. We have two retirees. Uh, overall, we've only got uh, three retirees altogether. Mike Gaunt, Sam Watley, Paul Assist, uh, and that's it, really. No other retirees. Uh, Flavio wow, really. Ruscio is a retiree. I think he just retired, I think, yeah, he yeah, has retired, yeah. Yeah, he was a few laps down as well. That was a shame yeah, after what happened, but that's the way, unfortunately, it goes, so... It's crazy, though, when you think about it, because <coughs> the top two drivers have just blown everybody away. Um, Boomsma, 17 seconds ahead of Fezzaponte. Um, Again, did you get it very wrong again? Mitchell's going to be angry at you. Bonesma? Yeah, if Bonesma? you get, I, I know. Yeah, well, no, if you call him Baron Bonesma, <laughs> you do that again. I, I, I'm just saying, if you're going to make fun of me, I'm going to get you to say his name, okay? I'm going to get you to say Mitchell's full name, and then... Oh, yeah, we're not going to have that We're not gonna have that conversation, then, okay, for enough. Yeah, we're going to have... Yeah, don't, let's not do it. Let's not do it, my friend. <laughs> but also, can I just say, we know that Brian had, like, a huge lead because of what happened at the start of the race. But it didn't matter. What? To start that race, he had like an eight-second lead, 
Zeit, also an sich mal schön Brian. bekämpfen. Brian, Brian's been doing that practically non-stop. Let's be, let's, let's be brutally honest. I mean, we look at the laps. Let, let, let's look at the last five laps. A 32-2, a 31-7, a 32-7, 33-5, a 33-2. Then he hit it, of course. Okay, Thomas. So he's been doing those 32s, but he gets into traffic. It's going up to a 33. And if he really gets clear out, he's doing 31. So Brian is just... You know, when you say checked out, that's the definition of checked out. Wow! Das ist ein Feig da. Arschloch. Oh, it was done in the pits. It was done in the pits. See here. To see John Lang going by you there in the pits. Sorry, that was Wilson going by John Lang in the pits. Let's have a look. Oh, and he made that clean move. So, pit stop undercuts from Wilson Jr. Only spent, he spent four left seconds in the pit stop. And that was exactly what he needed to do. And very well done to him, sir. Then we might see some we didn't say what we knew when it comes to an endurance race like this because it is really an endurance race can a lot of things can be done in the pit we mentioned about undercuts overcuts uh short fueling is one thing we didn't say tires as well but of course the, the heat i mean 21 celsius to track tech. we haven't brought that up 21 to 10 and i gotta say it rob 69 fahrenheit i know 26% really humidity. Really 26% really humidity. Let's just, let's just put that straight, right? It is dry out there. 26% humidity. That it's even, dry. That even, that even possible? Yeah, I know. Especially for France. I, I thought they were... I didn't realize they... I always thought they were a really humid think. country. Hang on, hang on. It's the... 21 Uhr or so. Not später, no? What's the temperature like at this? 21 Celsius track temp. If I give you an air temp, it is an air temp of 18 Celsius. Yeah, I think that's 18 That's awesome. A ball. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, sorry, John Lang's got off. Oh, and John Lang's got off. David Wilkins Jr. That is not what you want to see. The both of them have crashed. It just get you a ninth little replay of that. Fünften Platz ist er. Und hat den vier Platzierten circa 10 Sekunden vor sich. Oh Mann, ey. Der hinter mir, der holt ein bisschen auf. 6,7 Sekunden noch. Two cones put in what we used to be a breaking point. A 
as a breaking reference. People don't have breaking references. But the best thing is, despite their client side, if somebody hits them, they do hit the cover. And like, like Gary said, it is standard to hit the cover. A lot of people do use that because they know that they're getting the furthest point. So, you understand that, but like I said, on Gran Turismo Sport, you do have the maybe client side, but if someone drives over them, you do lose the cones, and then you haven't got it. So, okay, Thomas, yeah, as much of it is good to use the cones, maybe look at a different braking. To be, to be honest, like, I, I really would have said it's probably not a good idea to use the cones, especially the ones that the little, like, Orange like cones. Yeah, because they just like, they just get. You know, they just get knocked over. Like, I don't know. Like little, like little candy stores. You know? Bang, bang, bang. <sighs> it's a shame. It, yeah, it, it, it's, um, it's a shame they get knocked over. Um, but that, that is the righteous path of life. Um, but there's a little, there's a little bit of, there is a little bit of a joke because. Um, during a caution, during, during a caution in oval, it is um, customary that the blue cone, the pit exit line, does become a sacrifice to the great of God, the pace car in the sky. So, you know, maybe these guys are just getting ready when we go back to ovals. You know, just, just get ready to kill the sorry, not kill, so like sacrifice the cone. Sorry, I don't say kill, I said sacrifice. No idea. I'm going to kill the conversation talk about Javier Perez coming up to Stuart Elder, though. Uh, been putting in the times. He, they both went green last lap, but it was a 34... 34-3-2-6. Was it a 34-6-3-3? That was Elder, the slowest out of the two. And finally, Perez is in <sighs> slipstream. Is he doing a little bit faster? Unfortunately, they're matching times at the moment. The That's sun rocking... The sun is literally like, I can't see the car. And that's exactly what Javier Perez is looking at. You can see the sun. You can also see that the sun is basically plunging back like ahead. You can just see Stuart Elder right there, half a second away. By the way, I don't think Ponte is just coming back. That's a very early stop. No idea what's happened there, but we'll keep our eyes on this Elder Perez battle. The Elder does have Zoglu, the lead. GT1 in front. The Cambroni get by. Sorry, the Perez get by. I don't think he will. This could be a bookmark if Perez can stay on the rally on TV3. Do they get by? He does get by. That was close to a bookmarking there. Putting a slower car in between you and the car you're battling. Unable to get it. So managed to keep going. Gap 0.5. And you can see Perez has to slow down that dirty air. Really throwing it off the loop. Through the exit there, the carding acid now into Corvette, so losing a little bit of time there is Perez. Holding on though, and I'm pretty curious what's happened to Fatal Monty. Yeah, Fatal Monty. He was in nine, the... nine laps, was it? Nine laps. Well, he could be undercutting. An hour and ten minutes ago. He did not take a he... fast repair, so I think he was there for a pit stop. I think he just wanted to use it. Like the yeah. is the time to undercut and get some fresh air. Yeah, that undercut might be a good idea. I mean, it is a bit, you know, he's not battling anything, but if he feels he can take that pit stop now, then he does two more pit stops, or one more pit stop for him. He might just be doing that short that short pit, so wait and see. Anderson and Fawns are the latest two to come in to the pit. Elder and Perez are still out there. The gap is just over a second now. I think Perez is losing the slipstream and looking at the time difference, the speed differences. Yeah, it's about there was three kilometers, but Perez just catches toe and he's able to match the speed. Of and that That's what we're going to keep our eyes on. So just say, Joy Anderson, he's actually lost a lot of time and he's having a clutch of our boy. Simon okay, Thorne, well he was, uh, I think it was definitely P, but the, the, a few of them have pitted, so it's all shuffled out. Apparently pitted at the moment with Adam Fattaponte, uh, Troy Anderson and Simon Thorne, from what I can see, they're the only ones that have pitted for their second time so far. And John um, McClintock. 
but technically left side. I don't think he um, because he, he, he will have to pit again. It was way too late to use the right? No, he didn't actually pit. No, he took a late pit stop because he had to take a pit stop lap one like second last time. <laughs> Oh, the oh, Zimmerman's gone off. I don't I think the damage Zimmerman's just gone off. And the dump, a dump off. And what's happened there? Break, 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 break. Cast wise, and he tried to turn it the dump off. Losing more time to Van Hood. Ooh, yeah, he just he just tried correcting it. Let's go back again and see. Five of nine. Yeah. Second to last car on the lead lap. No, he's on the lap GT1, but that is a nice little squirrel there. The car very upset with him on the entry into Dunlop and had to take an evasive action. So he had lost time to Van Put. He was two seconds behind Van Put. He's now four seconds behind. He is actually going to be able to get a bit of help here with Simon Ford giving a bit of a toe. That's going to be handy, especially with the speed difference in not a lot. So, Ford, get off the middle of the track, Simon! You're a prototype! How good are you? That will be, he has actually gained half a second. Just by that will just by getting that switch ring. And he's going to get uh, David Wilson in front of him as well. So we get a bit more switch ring. So is, is that the... That is the GT ones lapping the portions. I know, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm amazed it's taken over an hour for that to happen with pit stops. Well, she went, a, you know, 15 second difference between them. Well. Oh, well, I just say that. It depends. Oh, oh even. Even. Oh, 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 yeah, right. Oh, 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 I was about to say sorry, but I was going to say it in Spanish. I was about to say lo siento. I realized that's not French. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm, I'm I'm just, France, then. Like, oh. Craig. Why? <laughs> Why? You, you, wouldn't, you, you, you wouldn't think I used to hang around with a lot of French uh, esports players back at the end of my whole taste and show my TFT. It's probably just having French friends. I think it was the way I just completely messed up there, but... Yeah, I you didn't butcher the French language. I, I just butchered the... Uh, like I said, in the far front, say... Gap to blank ahead is now 11 oh, front, seconds. Well, that was... Uh, oh crikey, that is... Simon Thorns. Oh, was ist mit dem Hinterwand da passiert? Er ist wieder auf 8 Sekunden, hat 5 Sekunden verloren. Sort of in the ballpark of, you know. I think we jinxed a lot. Yeah! Pass. I can't remember what we've done today, so. Javier Perez did come into the pits. We have seen a couple more pit stops now. Uh, so we can get a little bit out of the sink. I think Perez has done that to get away from Stuart. 13 seconds. Uh, Verscheint ein Problem zu haben. 15 Sekunden. Um, but at the same time, oh, was ist denn jetzt hier los, ey? The, the traffic, like, if we're looking at a, a smaller track, um, dare I say Watkins Glen, I'm not talking about Watkins Glen. Uh, dare I say... 20 uh, Sekunden. Monza. Irgendwas scheint mit dem Erik D. Freik passiert zu sein. Da scheint das Auto kaputt gemacht zu haben. Es am Umrutschen. Nee, die Bremse packt nicht mehr. Ich bin jetzt aus den letzten drei Kurven geradeaus rausgeflogen. Oh. Not a lot of places at the moment where you 
pretty much undercut to avoid traffic. So, if you undercut here, you're losing slipstream. It's why you don't undercut at Monza sometimes, because you want that slipstream of the car in front, because you want to help yourself. If you're definitely getting held up, I drop the drop pick up. But sometimes a slipstream is very helpful. So, you're rolling the guys undercutting in bit 12, way to get away from traffic. Uh, but Stuart Elder, he's coming up to Patrick Neat, four seconds behind Patrick Neat, who is his next traffic. He's not going to hit Patrick Neat until what? Ten Rouge? Is he going to lose time? Possibly not. So Perez has got to roll the dice here. Now, I don't blame him, but an hour, to, hour and four to go, he's still got one more pit stop. So who knows what happens? I'll tell you exactly what will happen. It's that we can set the doors left in the... Yes, it's from the top. Give it to me, please. A mid-race Monsanto again up in the Monsanto corner. Ständig bekommen die Hinterräder. Don't use a car for the first time. Don't use a car for the first time. So, let's see. So, vierter Platz, auch mit der dritte ist 12 Sekunden nach vorne weg. Nach hinten haben wir 21 Sekunden. Weiß nicht, was mit dem Patrick ist. Lass mal gucken. Wieso die? Also, sind die LMPs? Thorsten sieht aus wie auf 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Patrick ist, weiß ich nicht, etliche, etliche Plätze hinter mir. Boah, ich sehe gar nichts hier. Rat. Konzentrieren. Like I said, he had that issue in the grass with um, Wilson. Uh, that might be it because he had, a, he had another issue because it was a 4.15 for Wilson when he went off and it was a 4.30 for Lang when he also went off at the wow, same time. Wow, John Lang is 13 Lang on that lap again. So Whew. that could be the reason. Um, just seems very weird that he's lost a lot of time there. So we'll just presume that's what's happened so not much is happening at the moment on track we're still we're seeing the lmp2s you can see on the timing tag you can just see how they're all just very spread out um that's a lot of it is due Man, to on the yeah, due to the pit stops. I'm also getting triggered by Gary talking about Watkins Glen yesterday. It didn't happen. <laughs> it did not happen. Well, I do I do think I have found what happened to John Lang on lap 17 for the Porsche Cup cars. This is all. Yeah. So he had a secondary moment after losing it at Mulsan. And he went into the gravel trap deep. And I think he was telling himself, Bob. He was trying Jack, to find every yeah. wood under this car. Yeah, because this is Jack Webb. At that same instant, he sees the car going off. Oh, Weddle's off! Oh, he's hit the wall! Oh, he's hit the he's wall! He's just driven into the wall! He just drove into the wall! Did he forget he was not in reverse? Let's have a look. Oh, and... Right side. That is... Play no, right. don't drive into the wall! Oh, that's right, Pazierta. Oh. No oh! No damage. Jack yeah, Weddle hatte ein Problem. Das ist die Frage. Zweitplatzierter. So, das ist die Frage. P2, ist er richtig kaputt? Oder I mean, hat er nur einen Dreher gehabt? Nächste gerade wird es zeigen. Jack Weddle, der Zweitplatzierte. Entweder hat er es gleich hinten gekriegt. Ja, Weddle hat ein bisschen Defending von Siebenen. 
Hä? Natürlich hat es ein bisschen Windschatten weg, was ich krieg. Macht er, macht er, macht er, ne, der macht nix. Ich meinte das natürlich den Hintermann. Ob der. Jack, I am Ivan, will probably be very furious with himself and I probably not wanting to have pressure upon him. But because it does have pressure, it won't be welcome because he wants to get racing. He only really did it. He likes to see it. And, you know, if another car comes up and annoys him, it's like, well, well, bother me. <laughs> Is that your ghost and your favorite word? <laughs> yeah, follow it. <laughs> don't, uh, don't at me. It's not favorite word. Uh, <coughs> 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 I'm not sure if you're going to I'm drinking, verdammte Axt, boah. Die Sonne blendet, ey. Ja, da scheint doch vorne irgendwie nichts abgekriegt zu haben. Oh, he is spending a lot longer in the pits than I imagine. Ah, ey, diese Porsche Kurven, da verliere ich auf jeden Fall gegenüber den Top-Fahrern hier. But you did take tires. Fair Oh, ist ausgegangen, ich hab noch eine schnellste Runde gefahren. Do you remember having wow. to drive the APG? We had to press it. We had to have a button was out to uh, have a tear off on the on the uh, helmet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your your vision uh, ever so slightly blurred, lap after lap, because he meant like bits and bobs, like tire, like rubber, and all that kind of other stuff that gets like on the tank. Smacks the ride and it's like, hmm. yes, I appreciate it. I mean, it's great because like. Like if you go to a cockpit camera, technically you're seeing a driver's eye, like it is in Formula E, apart from nothing's pixelated, and you can sometimes see the dirt on it. So it was great fun, you know. But you're spending like Was every two laps clearing it off. Yeah, stehen. Dritt platziert. Yeah, I'm bored. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. The Wolf Dietrich is there. Okay, must be on my end. No, it's all about driver's side. Did you see that yesterday? Formula I didn't realize in the old days when they first started driver's side. Formula E had like Alter Verwalter. Over like an upper bottom. A bit of a bit of a um, you know an opaque black. So that you could not see the driver what was on the driver was doing. It's got significant pressure data. And well they realized that the drivers are looking down. Slow down, so come down, come down, come down, come down. So now the pixelated it. So now the steering wheel is pixelated. What? Um, yeah, they've had to pixelate the steering wheel when doing the driver's eye cam, which is the camera based inside the helmet, because they don't want other teams to look at the broadcast and see a driver that's got the driver's eye looking at his wheel, because you can see their battery, their brake parts, you can see a lot of information on the steering wheel. Ah, I see. <laughs> so they're just like, oh, we can't have people cheat. <laughs> it's different because in F1, you can, in F1 they don't care. Do you know what I mean? Because the data's there. No, they do. No, no, they they, they don't hide what's on the server. Yeah, not not for like the overhead camera because you can't see what's on it. But like if you look, like if you looked at like any of the, if the 
the YouTube videos of like them doing the driver's line. Yeah, they definitely do blow the way to the wheel. You know, you can still see like with Sergio Perez had that issue at the start of the first race, first race of the season. Oh, oh yeah. You can see that. You can see <laughs> that can, uh, we have an engine on fire. Can my hand not gegen die blendende Sonne well, here. Lot of smoke around the Porsche Curios, but I think that was probably just a tire level. Yeah, I do think it was a tire level. Let's not have another Roman Grosjean, please. And I don't mean from Bahrain, I mean from what happened last weekend. Oh yeah, when 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 he was just like, give me the give me the bloody fire extinguisher. Give me the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Yeah. The slowest, the slowest. Like, oh, we'll get the other uh, fire extinguisher. Don't worry, don't worry. It's like, no, give me the bloody fire extinguisher now. Man, man, man. By the way, uh, Adam has closed the gap. You can see to eleven and a half seconds. That'll be good to pay attention. We have we've got under fifty-four minutes to go. We do see some close battles. Uh, Bruni Anderson leaps, you know, the gap between those three is three and a half seconds. So, uh, have a look at this one. Zimmerman from fifth and having mistake after mistake, he's woken up and he's looking to get a third. Oh, man, yeah, Kyle, that's a bridge for me on the top four. One was his last lap. Was he getting this time around? He has really been on it right now. Across the line, it's going to be a 441. So, of course, he pitted. Yeah, is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, he did a 354, then a 441. Oh, no, no, no! What are we doing? Schon wieder. Why? <laughs> Why do I Why keep the camera on? Why are we... All right, right. Boston. Boston. Oh, no, that's awesome. Good driver. You and the Black Street Race Crew guys are great. But for some reason, today, with oh, Dutch, day. yeah, it's not your day. I think we should just let's let's move on. Talk. Yeah, let's let's. Move. Sorry, fools. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, <laughs> past uh, past the unfortunate the series of unfortunate wreck of poor Zoom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By the by the way, Mark apparently had an off. Jeffy Platz leading. Hey man. But nothing else will oh, He's still a minute ahead of everybody. A minute. I'm trying to think. I've never seen Mert do a Husky Bell GG challenge race. Have you? I don't, I've never. Like, we, we did. I think. We did I think. Half a year. I pretty, I'm pretty sure he was in the last one. Okay. I cannot remember. Oh! 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 Alter! Alter! There are the smoke that I saw. Was macht er denn für Sachen? Scheiße, das passiert denn auch mehr ab da. Eine Sekunde. Du bist Windschatten. So, we only have four retirements. Sorry, five retirements. Got Lucas, the late retiring. You're sure Brad Walsh has had another moment. What's going on? He's in the wall at Walsh Cubs. Heavy impact. Heavy impact. What has happened to Brad Walsh? Brad Walsh here on your screens, car 82, and up to the porch curves. What has happened to our poor, poor, poor man? Uh, uh, breaker. Oh, I think. Did he not? Did he break? I've been doing the hardware failing. He broke at the right point, then lift, then went off the brakes, then went back on the brakes. I reckon that's hardware failing. You don't take the foot off the brakes like that. That's a confusing It is, yeah. I mean, there's not much we can really do apart from hoping for it that you make it to the end. But, yeah. Now he's now trying to get into the head of the brake. I just hope that's not what I just hope that's not hard work. It is his sake. Looking out on board with It's a very pink car. I also love that robot. 
That's a very strong colour for the roll bar as well. <laughs> yeah. It's very pink. Very nice livery as well, but I'm not too fair, so I do like that. Uh, Apart oh, from the front. Yeah. Pit, pit box. You see, it says pit box. You know? Maybe you should. <laughs> Maybe you should, you know, follow the advice of your car. Or follow the uh, advertising on your car. Get yourself into that pit to get that demo screen. Yep. Oh, he already had his... He's already used his, um... Free faster repair. Oh. Well, the funny thing is... That's not affecting his top speed. He does a lot of... He does have such... Uh, by the way, shout out to Patrick Peace in front of that car. Very nice tribute to Sabine Smith. I think, like I said, a lot of these drivers still use the same delivery style from the negative. I just sorry, just interrupt. I saw Kyle Ashby do negative 365,000 kilometers an hour. That is not a joke. That's what Anfo just told me that he did. Did he put the clutch in? <laughs> no, he blinked. All oh, right. I was about to say, like I say, a lot of, a lot of the Porsche Cup drivers, Cup car drivers, use the same livery from the um, Nova Brains. Of course, some of them do have their tribute to Sabine Schmidt still. Of course, one of the things that happened in motorsport this week, while we were in the downtime of watching this battle between Nissan and Watridge, um, the first corner on the Nordschleife is the name to the Sabine Schmidt. And I think it's great because, as well, it's also the first corner when you transfer the new G so to the greenhouse. So, whether you do it, you know, so that to me is just fantastic because she can see you go safely and she, you know, also tell you, welcome to hell. And I think that's just such a nice tribute that they've renamed the first corner. There's Nice having a bit of a moment there. It's probably going on the inside, yeah. Probably they tried going on the inside and um, did Lutridge, but no problem. just couldn't make it. So I think he backed off a little bit. Just wait and see if the make move happen elsewhere. Yeah, a bit of an apology. Really Very fuel left. Really really Coming to the feet at the end of his lap. Box this lap. Okay, Patrick. Fast car approaching. Like I hit the wall a couple of times. Oh, fuck. Sorry, dude. I just heard Sherman. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's us. This looks like a hardish. Oh, no, 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 no,
but this is the battle that is really playing. Although these do have Troy Anderson battling Yao Bruni. Looks like the Rossman is just coming to the as well. So Bruni and Anderson still battling. They've been at it, well, almost all well. Sorry, yeah, really I was on my bridge as far as I could. Yeah, Stefan Rossman coming in for his final stop. Wow. Wow. 28 of the 41. As is John McClintock. So Troy Anderson moving up into 8th position, back in 7th. We are looking at Brian Boomsma. Boomsma, sorry, is it Boomsma? Yeah, I think it's Boomsma. Boomsma, yeah. I, I remember, I remember we... <laughs> yeah, we were corrected, so... Yeah, so... She <laughs> won! Oh, oh, so, yeah, 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 multiple times. It's one of the things we like because, you know, we, we are professional, but we do like the criticism of sometimes, so, uh, By the way, that is Troy Anderson taking the P7. Fast guy approaching, they're racing us for position, don't expect any green flags. We're only having to up let Troy Anderson take the first in the sand. Very well done by Troy Anderson. The first section of the sand straight, and off he goes. Looking at the speed differences at the moment, they're matching speeds. But now, when they start hitting that time, now comes Bruni. He's getting five kilometers an hour faster. He probably won't get the move here. And in fact, he pull out. He's pulled out the swoop trick really early. That uh, might just be doing what I do and just yeah. He's, he's tapping the brakes early. He's afraid that if he breaks, he goes into the back of Anderson. So fair game there, fair play. Point um, four of a second is the gap. They've got a he Porsche Cup car. Sorry. In front. Uh, got two of them. They got two of them. There is a bit of a gap, but I'm just looking. It, are either of them going to get by here? Anderson will get by. It will have to be a send from Bruni if he wants it. No, they do get there. They were breaking. Bruni was breaking later, but just gets by. That little bit of hesitation also, though, losing a little bit of time. Only like two tenths from Anderson. But now coming up to the longest straight on the track, which is the golf track. So we'll wait and see. They will get by this one. And then the next one's five seconds up the road, which is John Lang. That's really good, though, by Jack Weddle to catch up to Lang like that. Doing himself proud by, uh, you know, doing himself well by putting in the map. What else can you do other than putting in the map? Laps, then laps go all around them. Lap, sorry, then I'm sorry. Well, they are catching. He is catching, but again, it all just comes down. And I'm just looking. That's John Lang up ahead. Trianus is not going to get by him before the Porsche curves. Let's bunch everybody up again. Let's just have a bit of a bunch up here. Anderson is trying to look. Oh my word! He's trying to take it too wide at the wall. Well, you can see why they, they you can see why they extended that wall a um, few years ago. Because that was a very curious moment there. They do get through, and Rooney followed Anderson through. Yeah, it was half a second. So not yet. If now, when? If not now, when? Oh wow! Gap in the front. I've got to keep going back to that gap, Rob. You see it on the timing tower. Yes, that's a five. That is a five, and that is a four. Ah, uh, okay. The boxen stop is durch. I must leider rein zur Reparatur. Ich hatte gerade leichten Kontakt nach Dreher. Ich habe noch null Inzidenz. Sauber. Ich habe schon gesagt. Yeah. Aber ich hab halt Taktik Ja, warum? Ich hab drei Reifen gewechselt. Da sind zwei durchgegangen. Ja, klar. Muss ich gucken. Ich hatte jetzt auch versucht, vorhin Reifen nicht zu wechseln. Aber jetzt das Auto wurde immer schlimmer. Ich hab nur die Bremse berührt. Der ist der Heck ausgebrochen. Dabei hatten die Reifen hinten noch 70% oder sowas. Aber geht nicht. Krieg ich nicht gefahren. I see a car come out of our and almost hit that that tire barrier. I I just. Wie gesagt, auch noch so einen unbeabsichtigten Kontakt mit dem Porsche da gehabt. Now for the Bonzi trying to get by. Three seconds. It's closing. It is closing all because of traffic. 
up ahead there is another car it's the blinking car and be going thousand minus a thousand miles an hour on the stream uh, second gap between Woomsman and Aspie. I think Woomsman will get by him. He will. He'll get by Woomsman. Oh, sorry. Woomsman will not get by Woomsman. Woomsman will get by Aspie. There in the port. In the port. And Aspie had hit it. He was on lower fuel. 40, 39 minutes remain. That's an undercut. Well, it's not an undercut. But he undercut earlier on. So it's an undercut. Do you see what I mean? does have that advantage, he doesn't have to deal with the traffic that right in, he's like he's like he's two and a half seconds up ahead in Evo in a GT1, then he's got a lapped HPD six seconds up, and then seven and a half seconds up is another GT1, that is Merton Sokyo, so the traffic is there, he'll get past Evo now with no problem, there he goes. Then he'll hit the Clintock. He won't hit the Clintock right away because they're the same. But then he's going to get to Murta. He'll get to Murta about seven seconds is the gap now. You're probably saying Indy. Well, it, it, you know, I, I say probably because one of those things, uh, when you do so much Le Mans, do so much of this track, you start to like work out. And a lot of these drivers will be doing. Uh, Brian wasn't a pit ahead, no. Brian uh, pitted, sorry, Brian was pit, uh, a pit ahead, sorry. Uh, Adam pitted early those times, so that's why that's going there. So like I said, it's an undercut, but it's kind of not an undercut. Uh, Adam is out low and managing to get going. He's got Elvis right behind him, five seconds behind him. But now for Adam, it's just a case of just seeing what he can do. They got up as high as five seconds. Wait, see, as I was saying, like, when uh, these drivers probably do it as well, is in practice, you would go by and look at the idea of, well, I'm at the start of Mon Sang, and that driver is X seconds ahead. Can I make it? And then you work out, yes, I can make it, or no, I can't make it. And you take that experience with you later into the race, or, you know, uh, into the race, and you've done it in practice, and you think, right, when well, this guy right behind me is sleeping, that guy right behind is free. Two seconds. I can get by him at the end of the straight, and I will up. And that is what you're going to be paying eventually right now, because as um, Daniel Morat said, it was the driver Daniel Morat said in one of those, one of the iRacing videos that he did instructional video. Right now, it's not about the fastest lap; it's the fastest stint. So you've got to look. Almost two corners ahead of you when you're looking down the relative, just to, just to have the idea of what we're looking, what you're looking for. It's okay, that's all I've looked at here, and it's not. And Adam has Good day, Tat. Woo! And what Brian will? That does put the advantage in Brian's hands, providing he can get by and having a bit of an issue there. Having to go wide around the first part of the Porsche curves is never fun. And now can he get by again? He had to go wide as he goes past Mavusa there into the second part of the Porsche Cup. So, passing S's, sorry. So, yes, he dealt with traffic fine, but he had to go around them, which is never a good sign. I mean, of course, of course, the color is still in this race. Right? This is it. Right. I think he's getting the damage repaired. He is indeed. So, He's going to try and finish this race as full soon. Just saw him in my relative point to keep eyes <sighs> on him. But this man, Brian Bonesman, started the race in the lead. And took up. Managed to avoid the chaos behind him on lap one. Well, not even lap one. They were taking the dips and overweight. They've been going on the portion feel like the uh, in, uh, US 500. There you go, that's a, that's a blast from the past. The US 500, who remembers that? I mean, people are going to say they remember the US 500. I'm just going to wait, wait and chat and be like, I remember the US 500. The, uh, the, cart, inver the cart version of the US 500 where the first race they crashed before they even got to the green flag. Um, kind of like that, a little bit chaotic today. If you missed the start of the race, a four car pileup on the exit of the Porsche Cane as they took the green flag. Caused 
a little bit of chaos and also then affected a little bit of damage to other cars in the other groups as the cars of the uh, HPD were going through. Reas platziert ist 25 Sekunden weg. Zurück platziert ist 6,5. Und nach hinten 5,6 Sekunden. Und Bomsma ist 50. Man ist schlecht dann auch im Augenblick, aber das Rennen ist vorbei, das Rennen vorbei ist. Keep watching Brian going by. Not, not a lot is happening elsewhere on the track. That battle between Perez and Senenko. Just having a little bit of a delay because Senenko goes into the pits. Manello's also joined him in the pits. They've got a bit away, though they're 30 seconds away, so nothing to talk about there. Colin Ward and Simon Fawns is battling at the moment for 13th and 14th. In the GT ones, I'm doing my Hindi right now, aren't I? I am doing my version of Hindi. Just going down the order. We've got 34 minutes remaining. No it happening in the GT ones as Oglu and Brown first and second. A minute between them and a minute between Brown and Ruti Kikoto who's in third. The uh, the Porsche Cup cars it's all very quiet as well, but the gaps are small. 18 seconds between Wilson Jr. and Lang. Steven Nagel is seven seconds behind Lang Look and he's got Jack Little nine seconds behind him. That's it, and we just saw an issue there with Overbay. That's a bit weird. Overbay just having a moment with Senenko there. You can see it. Senenko battling Philippe's. Those two were battling beforehand, I believe. Uh, no, they weren't. Philippe still had yet to hit. They battling earlier, but nothing else. There's Dano Fatiponte. He's got a lot of clear air ahead of him. The next car up ahead is Jan Belsa. 20 seconds ahead. Compared to Bonesma, who, you know, he's got a lot of HPD in front. We've got Jack Weddle, 11 seconds off the road. And Bonesma does get by Quinton. Quinton does the right thing. And he was up the Ford chicane, as you can just see there. But it, it is just going to be a matter of, like, gaps. And that final pit stop is really going to play, play havoc. The Bonesma having to take less fuel. Again, we go back to the HPD does fuel in weight, not liters or gallons, weight. So if you don't have a system that allows to tell you how much fuel you need, you're in that position. Oh, that's how much time it costs to fuel. Mist. So, got to be careful. Um, just fuel. Warum so, sich da vorne dreht? Äh. Ich denke, Brian will have to take less fuel. Okay, wie weich, in die Box fahren. 55 Liter, keine Reifen. Nope. Maximal. <lacht> Ach mein Gott, ey! Das war nie gut. Gibt es doch nicht, verdammte Scheiße! Ich denke, es wird nicht passieren. 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 Uh, Pitts, by the way, Brad Walsh has retired the car. He's towed it after some heavy damage. Still with heavy damage. I reckon he's still got hardware failure. And that would be a shame if he had hardware failure, I must be honest. <laughs> there are bottles going on. Um, can't <coughs> see them due to the pit stop. The car bearing down on you. Uh, some of these cars have taken the hell of a pit stop. Nothing unfortunately is happening in the GT1. 1,4 Sekunden. I mean, the, the problem is that there's not too many of them. And they're all spread out. Yeah, one of the other shots. And the issue with uh, the lack of uh, Evo and Drini and Zimmerman. 
of them are black stands, so. A bit of a foregone conclusion, this is. Oh, not for wood, then. No, no one has an accident. Oh, well, yeah, of course, yeah. But, you know. Nächste LMP. Elft platziert ab. I'm not sure if we will see a. a uh, <laughs> or this is fine. Here in the future. It's just the gaps are too great. So. Schatz, sind wir so weit rausgekommen? Ganz ja, 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 so he will have to pit. Oh, I'm just trying to think. If he's pitted every 12 laps, Ooh. he will have to pit lap. Uh, 36. Just speak. Right. He's got three laps left. Okay, what's up? There's actually no shooter. Uh, Rayon gets to make the system in fourth <laughs> <Perfect> again. <laughs> Two, one. Oh dear, yeah. Our guessing system works like this. We guess. Make no bones about it. And you can see, Ted, the tire prediction from Rally on Gestimating Summit today that those tires are tires. <laughs> You're right there, Murray. Oh, can you imagine what Murray would say about AWS now? Probably wouldn't know what it is. He, 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 but to be fair, not here, but he did, he did radio commentary for the You know, it, it, it is like it, it's just the technology, you know, speeding past those that weren't used to it. I would think Murray would probably say there's too much information nowadays. He'd always say there's too much information, and he'd go, I wish, oh no! Bozeman's hit Van Foot! Oh no! Bozeman's hit Van Foot! I don't think there's damage! Let's have a look. Did he hit him in the corner? And on, on, you'll see. On the run, did you? Oh! Oh, right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was one shot of Renza. That is. That is. Yeah, that is definitely. Just a second, leave him. Lassen auf den Hintermann. Yeah. And Van Poot's got a lot of damage. I think he missed the wall up there. Yeah. Thankfully, he was at the right part of the track. He did not get hit by any damp, by any like wall or anything. He didn't have to do a. Uh, a oh yeah, um, that neck road. Have a look. Team. Have a look at this. Have a look at. Oh. Yeah, there you I go. I don't want to see oh. that. Oh. It's so unfortunate for Van Putt, but unfortunately that is a sheer amount of that goes there. And off he goes. I, I understand, yeah, it, uh, Joe was saying, but at the end of the day, because it's Netco, there's no damage. But here comes Bonesman. He's into the pit. From what I can see, there is no damage in front. Because like I said, if it's Netco, but no offense, not going to give him any damage. But here he comes. By the way, Stefan Rossman has retired the car as well. So he is out of this race. Where is Adam Fasaponti? He is down the goal straight. It's, you're right, Rob. It's not going to happen. Even though you've got uh, Brian on the goal straight. He's in the Porsche curves. Sorry, he's down the Busson straight. Oh, duh. Okay, Thomas. Or can we go Busson in the Porsche? Yeah. 
in the box now goes Bogsman. Does he take tyres? Five minutes left. Do you take tyres? Track temp is still 20 Celsius. 68 Fahrenheit. What can you do? Do you run the risk? You probably don't know that Adam took tyres. Yes. Oh no, he did not take tyres. He's out of the box already. That big. That big. Yes. Oh, and yeah. Your, uh, yeah, Patrick Ponty will be on fresh rubber. And Bohm's will be on all the tires. He only took fuel for that run and is going to have 24 minutes to defend 15 seconds of a gap. Which is about seven laps, so. That, that's about the time it takes to do tire change. Mm -hmm. So if Ooh. he did take the tires, it would have been very much. Dafer had an already box, right, sir? That is, wow, yeah, that's, um, and now I don't have to have a slowdown, is it a slowdown or is he just holding up for Brandon Kluge? Holding up for Brandon Kluge. Yeah, Kluge, so, I mean, I've never been so in fruit. I've never been through a 15 second gap, Ooh. but here we are. A 15 second gap, and it could happen, it could be a change. We know that Adam has been driving well. We know that Brian's got those old tyres. But, I mean, look, it's 20 Celsius track temp, 18 <coughs> Celsius air temp. I think Brian might have made the right move here. Yeah, I think so too. It, dep it depends, man. It depends. It, will... it depends on how much track body can make them can make the good tyres work. And, uh, seen two laps if the gap difference is or if the speed is big enough for, for to, 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 to make a difference where it can be <sighs> but I, not, I doubt it I doubt it if Thorsten is back to the 17th how it looks and more that you can gain probably yeah clear eight you can gain half a second in fresh tyres um, but could you gain that much time per lap I'm not sure Perez is in the pit, by the way. Yeah, he was in a battle, and I think that's his battle gone. So it is. So, yeah, unfortunately, Perez in the pits. I think, yeah, I don't think there's any, any other battle going on in the HPDs. Like I said, we'll go back to that if we need to. Van Hook did not lose a position, by the way, after that hit. He's still P4 in the GT ones. Now, the uh, I was about to say the Porsche Cup car has changed. You can see yeah. Wilson Jr. has the lead. Well, the gas <sighs> so, I must say, a bit on the inside, but the third so place is just 4.4 seconds behind. Yeah. Have made their final pit stops. So, I'm taking fast repairs. Both are taking fast repairs. I'm glad you've got that information. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that I can see that as well. Yeah, it's like, did it take that first? Mm. Wait, so it, it is now basically time for watching. That's fine. Um, for, for the cup cars, they don't have to go around traffic. Oh, John Lines? John Lines had a okay. moment, Yes, that's it. He had an unfall. He's out of the way. He's out of moment and he's in the wall. He had etliche seconden verloren. He's down to 10 seconds. Ran. In position 2 was first and then oh oh dear lord that is quite a hit on the right hand side <laughs> <laughs> that's steering damage oh that is a lot of damage yeah his car is straight and that, what, that yellow stripe on the center of the, of the wheel is just going to be in the middle that is steering damage in fact look you can see him come out it's the Porsche Cup, it's the Porsche Cup car. You're gonna have a bit of a, an issue trying to steer around here, but yeah, I think he's having to do a bit more work right now. You can hear him having to look how wide he's going. That is steering damage. Please don't tell me that's a meatball. But that is definite steering damage. Not a meatball, he's not stay a meatball. out. Oh! <sighs> I think what if, what, 
could you come into the pits and try and get it fixed because okay they hit that man they had like three like a man he's all seat he's going to be catching up at a rate of knots and, and there's wing damage to lang there's wing damage as well a hit like that would cause wing damage you can see it this was our first as a good to work okay so let's look at the instructions on you there's the slow and you can just see and even that little twist is going to cause issues lang is well lang is like Missed Apex, Missed Apex F1 podcast, a chance of getting two podiums today. Uh, no pressure, of course, but, you know, um, and he's, yeah, he's really, I don't think he can By do it. Like Brian Bonds, man. He's last two seconds, and he's still losing time compared to Adam Patrick Ponte. Sixteen second, and I think think it's thirteen. Sorry, yeah, thirteen right now. Yeah, it's thirteen right now. I think. Brian Bones. Alepe Fonington. Oh, why does the RGS battle forecast say about the striking this is being Bones and Matt Ponte? Last lap, if last lap, if at all. Well, here's something interesting, Rob. It's fuel play the factor. Caps is predicting. 40.00 laps. <sighs> if he goes, yeah, if he goes faster, that would go to 41 laps. Well, possibly, yeah, that could be, uh, could be an issue, I mean, uh, And that was, uh, that was when he crossed the line last lap. So because he got held up, it will go to 40. So he may have just helped him there because Adam may have been fueling for 41. So that would have also put him yeah, you've got to realize that rock. You've you just done that before. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Und ich habe nach hinten 14 Sekunden. They do get free. They could have had four at one stage. Um, unfortunately, Weddell having a couple of issues. Jetzt sogar 19. I think he's got it back though. Is he even eight? No, he hasn't. So 17 minutes to go. And we're just caught with the time watching right now. Oh, well, I mean, it'd be time watching for a bonus, no? but. You also got corrected by Gary because um, Gary just pointed out his three map guys at podium. I just said that. Yeah, Where you, have you been? You said two. Four. Yeah, I, I said three and I said it could have been four. Could have uh, went. But I'll tell you what I see. I see Bosma and Fakamonti on the relative at the same time. Adam can see him on the relative. 13, 14 seconds. If I give you an idea, Brian's just exiting Molson 1. Adam will be able to see him if he had a car that was high enough to look over tire batteries. I think we have a car on the, on the surface that can do that. I'm going to be perfect. Yeah, uh, Pro Fords. <laughs> the Pro Ford cars. Maybe. But, like, why would you race them here? Why not? I took a 10 minutes to get around the track for Christ's sake. Yeah, and the effort of that. I'd do it. Nah. Have you not seen the video of someone taking the Oh uh, my god, Fatchaponti has gone off at Mulsan 2! It's all gone wrong for Fatchaponti, he's lost the car! Not what you want to see. And that is going to lose a lot of time, but now he's got an issue. He can't get by Colin Ward. Is he going to be able to get by him from Molson Corner? I think he is, yeah. Yeah, oh, that is a big mistake for Adam. And remember, Adam's on the pressure tyres. And he lost a good five seconds. Well, more actually. 
five seconds, so the battle forecast does indeed say no battle. Now, remember John Lang is holding in, he's holding on, but it's yeah. also three seconds a lap slower. He's heading 276 down the Mulsanne straight. Right? right. David Wilson is probably hitting. Well, let's look at Stephen Angle, what he was just hitting. 280. Not an hour difference between the two of them. That's kilometers an hour. Kilometers, sorry. It's not been here. It's not been a lot of people have had bad days. It's unfortunate to see, but I mean, I think we have to <laughs> Your bad day started even before we started the podcast. <laughs> My bad weekend after what happened yesterday with Watkins. <laughs> I, I suppose you don't want to talk about it. We <sighs> um, get crushed out when we were second in the race. Rumpy? Yeah. Scheint der Herr Lappen vor mir ein Problem zu haben. Ich glaube, der kann. Entweder muss der Sprit sparen. Oder der hat einen Schaden. Das ist ja nicht mehr auf der langen Gerade, weil ich habe jetzt innerhalb von einer zwei, drei Runden drei Sekunden auf den aufgeholt. By the way, if you want to see more, we're back Wednesday night with some more league racing. And also next Saturday, we're back with the Major Series because I think the best race you will see this month is going to happen. Because next week is the Predator Series at Sakuba. I've never done any type of commentary at Sakuba. I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say this, be prepared to uh, the last of your jobs. I promise it to be fun, so you will get news of that when that happens. Um, well, Stuart Elder's in the pits now. So he's coming in for his final pit stop, so unfortunately that means Mr. Apex do not get a 1-2-3. Oh, I say that, Jan Baroni is coming into the pits. But there goes Sinenko. He finally gets it. He free back, or does he? Where's Elder? Hey, he's just coming up now into the pit. Sinenko's going to get him. He free back. After taking two positions. So Sinenko with the undercut did work. Did not work for Adam Monte. The gap's now 30 seconds. He's lost more. Hang on, he's lost more time this lap. What a fire dude. Adam, he started the lap 22 seconds behind. He's now. <laughs> He's made another mistake. Made another mistake. I will probably find it. I'm not entirely sure myself. I'm gonna guess that's probably a slowdown. Uh, didn't see anything at Mulsar. So I'm not entirely sure. Here it comes. I'm trying to see if this is what I think it is. Oh, thank you, Nightbot. Thank you for, like, popping up and speaking to us after 90 years. Wow, Nightbot. Nice to see you. Oh, please don't tell me you got to slow down for that. You got to slow down. Because he accidentally did not cross back over the white line. Der hat keine Höchstgeschwindigkeit mehr. That's interesting. He's losing time over the entire lap. What's wrong? There's something wrong with the car. You don't think he's got full damage, do you? I don't know. But he's lost another second. There's a faster car approaching. There's something. We're gonna have to keep an eye on the speeds in a minute just to see. Yeah, it could be so wrong. By the way, the phone book crosses the, the time 40.01. His gearing. Oh, oh. Yeah, his gearing's all off. Like, listen to his gearing. 
What's he doing? Is he dual saving? I'm fine on this one as well. Ja, so let's see what he can do in, in the, you know, let's see what he can do down the Mulsanne straight. He is not going to get any slipstream. He's faster than Colin Wood, but he's not going to get any slipstream. Now he gets a slipstream. 300. Can he hit 311? Well, if he's going to hit 311, he gets slipstream. So, no, he lifts. He's not even going for the overtake. Oh, he's still so I'm trying to listen to it, but it's, it's so difficult just in that cockpit and it was just like he's lifting what's going on I, yeah I think you're right there's an issue there with fuel hat er echt ein Problem mit seiner Aero sein Gaspedal ist ich kann er nicht ganz durchtreten seine Reifen sind platt oder er muss Sprit sparen it's getting much much worse because there's this guy uh, they call it the uh, the car 77 being driven by Thomas Silbernagel. And uh, it's right on his back bottom right about now. And John Lang. I mean, credit to him. He's basically uh, uh, very uh, That's not kind of got damage in this now. Very, very undrivable. Well, it's not a meatball. It's not a meatball. How's that not, yeah, how's that not a meatball? I don't yeah, but still, I, I don't want to drive that thing. I wouldn't want to drive it. Uh, the RDS fuel saving forecast okay, is um, uh, a car approaching. Uh, making a buy. John Lang, John letting the center of the car is a second gap between John Lang and Jack Weather, so I think they want to consider get third position. Keep it handy in the pocket. Well, to be fair, we haven't talked about the standings, have we? We did not know. Good with be honest, like because we're looking at three classes, we're looking at three winners, right? So, who are our top? Well, who are our top ten? Well, we call it eleven because of how it is. Because ten, ten. There's two people inside the ten. So, Adam Bakabonte, leading the championship with 98 points. Sean Brown, 83 points. Mike Gaunt, 78. Eric Peek, 77. Brandon Kugis, 76. Colin Wall, 75. Bonesman, Jack Webb, Stefan Rossman, 70. Sam Watley, Troy Anderson, 68. So it's Steven, you know, you think about it, Steven A. He's 20 with 59 points. Even on the P3, he gets a good, good result here. And I think that's what he wants to look for. A result like that really helps. Also, for the same reason why Adam is not really pushing by at the moment. You think about it. But the gap, yeah, it's definitely up to 40 seconds now. And again, he's having issues with the uh, Monty. Definitely, I think that is fuel saving. That number stayed, by the way, at 40.01, which means <clears throat> it's a 40 lap race. It's not going to be a 40 lap race, it's going to be 41. Now, it is one of those situations, Rob, where it says 40.01, right. but because of the way it's done with the timing, they may not get the white flag, but it will be the white flag. We, you won't see the white flag. I'll see the white flag. I'll let you know. You are forgetting that I have Apple. And it tells me when the white flag happens. You are forgetting that I'm in the race. <laughs> 
Okay, okay fair enough. Right, Jack Meadow, Eric Beaker having a battle right in front of Adam for the bomb team. Beaker's going to try and take Meadow. This game has just gone bad. Meadow has started T3. He's now down to fifth. Beak gets by him after Weddle has to take a hit stop there. Beak up to fourth. Weddle is now fifth. Ah. The HBD of Ponty go by. Here, Beak will just go, I will take that. That can be very much in the next position. For a man who's fourth in the championship, will help him because. Where's my gaunt? He's out of the race. Where is he? Sean Brown. He's P2 in his own class. Adam Fitzponti, P2 in his own class. That overtake for Eric is crucial. If he wants to catch up, he's only a point behind Gaunt. He's going to be taking a lot more points as Gaunt will go down the order. But also, Eric gets a point for a top five as well. I just want to see he's going to be not just, just, just to cut across. I just wanted to see one thing. I just wanted to see this because. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Thomas still running. I made a mistake going into it. He did. <coughs> John Snipe back on by, but he's been very temporarily. Ah, done. That, that sounds horrible. Only temporarily, yeah. He's right on the back of John Lang right now. Half a second. I mean, the problem is, is that John Lang is dealing with damage, and he's got all the way. He's got all the way around with damage. Right, I need to check something here. What? Uh, 3 minute 30 laps. There's 3 minute 10 left. Brian Bones went to the top of 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 you can still catch back up to the Monaco of the course I've won. That's 15 seconds. Yeah, you yeah. have to know the speed difference. The, yeah, the, yeah, you're the, right. The, 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 the LMP2s are 30 seconds a lot faster. Well, I know who will have to go around again. It's the current leader of the uh, GT1, Curtis so Ogle. He will be taking the white flag. Um, be taking more than my flag. He has to go around again. He's halfway through this lap, so he's have to go around again. But this is definitely my fucking prediction. I believe this is the last lap of the race. I, I could be right. I could be right. <sighs> so, now, unfortunately, no battles. Uh, the I say that, sorry, I say that. Roberto De Felice has lost a little bit of time to Troy Anderson. I mean a lot, a bit of time. There was there was a second and a half between them. Now, Anderson looks like he's going to be making a move. This is a P8. All the positions count here. Around the outside. Two of lads. He's going to have to go around the outside. Be geil. Big response. Nothing. Be geil. Yeah, no, sorry, I'll take that back. The comeback by Felice. They're side by side, going down into an arch. Who's gonna blink? Does Anderson go for the dead or going too wide into an arch? They tried. Philippe's got nowhere to go. He goes off. Did I just see a cut back halfway through Indianapolis? I think I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Let's surrender. Another cut back. Another cut back. Yeah, crazy. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, I probably have on purpose. Great drive by the Oh. Margin, not three in the track, but the corner on the track you want to go too wide, so Fleece has got to do it all again, and they have to do one more lap, by the way. So that's all fine, but Brian Bowlesman, he's down the golf straight right now. He's just having the time of his life. Can Faka Monty hold on? Well, I think he's got enough fuel to survive. The minute and a half behind, ahead of everybody else. Yeah, and all that Brian Bowlesman has to do is get home. And that will be a win for the 20 seconds that I'm last placed. He knows it. He knows it. We're talking about you, Brian. I saw you flashing. There you go, Brian. He's taking a victory. You know how like when they do the triathlon and other stuff, they grab the flag inside the road, the spectator? That's what he's doing. He's celebrating early. He's flashing the lights. He knows it. He breaks for the corner. 
into the Fortune Canes he goes. And the winner of Le Mans 2.4 for the European Sportsman is Brian Bosma from start to finish. Dominance by the Miss Apex podcast driver. Very well done by him and a commanding drive by Bosma. Good job, Brian. He'll be coming home in second place. And then we have... Jawohl! Zweiter Platz! John, what happened? Elvis uh, Vanello. So, still watch the space. Oh, guck mal mal. Sehr geil! Zweiter Platz! Uh, so we missed that one, but yeah, he said this here, Platz, Jungs! Oh, 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 Thorsten, was soll los? Ich hab's schon ein paar Mal gesehen. Ich hatte versucht, ähm, beim zweiten Schritt, äh, dritten Stint ohne Reifenwechsel zu machen, aber er haut überhaupt nicht rein. Okay. Dann habe ich auch Uhr geguckt, ich denke, komm, dann versuchst du jetzt nur so lange zu ziehen, dass du jetzt noch mit einem Stopp durchkommst. Hätte ich noch irgendwie drei Runden so fahren müssen oder so und dann irgendwie in der zweiten Runde, zweite Holsand, äh, äh, gar nicht, drehe ich mich. Ich stehe da ein bisschen doof auf der Straße und Porsche pumpt mich so leicht an. Ja, 10 Minuten Repair. Okay. Now he's in that dirty air, that tricky yeah. dirty air. Yeah. Wer, du? Ja, yeah. herzlichen Glückwunsch. Auf welchem Platz bist du gelandet? Okay. Meine Strategie ist voll aufgegangen, obwohl ich gedacht habe, die ist scheiße. Wieso hast du das gemacht? Nach vorne nur? Okay. Habe ich schon die, die erste, den ersten Sinn nur hinten gelegen. Aber äh, jetzt hinten raus, vom 10. auf den 5. vorgespielt. Ja, okay. Ja, ich warte hier irgendwo bei der Dun hinter der Dunlop. Äh. Oh. Aber mir ist mir ist mir ist der äh, mir ist nach dem ersten Stint ist mir der Dings ausgefallen, der Bassshaker. Ach die Scheiße. Der, der, der kleine Verstärker ist kochend heiß. Hinter der Dunlop. Ja, da ist er. Warte, komm! Ja, was machst ja, du denn hin, ey? Ich wollte gerade uns Oh, jetzt hat mein erstes Incident gemacht! Ja, sehr cool! Ja, sehr cool. Warte, sechster Platz ist er geworden. Wow, oh, meine Reifen hinten sind weg! Ich bin voll im Arsch, meine Reifen sind voll kaputt hin. Ich fahre, glaube ich, nur auf Felge. Totti ist glaube ich Siebter geworden oder sowas. Die Klassenletzter. Okay. Ja, du warst irgendwie im Kampf äh, mit dem Viertplatzierten. Ne? Patrick, warte doch mal. Nein, ich bin hinter dir. Zehn Sekunden. Hast du Sprit? Oh, wir fahren auf die erste Schikane zu, glaube ich. Ja. Ja. Warum? Ach so. Nein, ich habe drei Geschwister. Du, du bist dein. Wie weit, wie weit, wie weit bist du denn weg? 25 Sekunden. Ich warte auf den Kurs. Warte mal, Patrick. Schaffst Ach komm, komm jetzt. 18, 17. Und der Patrick, der Patrick, der fährt, ne? Oh Mann, oh Mann, ey. Ja, bei mir war auch, ey. Also, 
Die ersten drei, die sind da so weg, ne? Also. Das war schon schwierig, die an den dran zu bleiben. Aber ich bin halt ehrlich gesagt ein bisschen Nutznießer gewesen von der Unfähigkeit von den anderen. Ja, weil also irgendwann ähm, hat man gemerkt, so dass die halt schnell waren, so tatsächlich. Aber dann haben die ja dann auch hier und da mal Fehler schon gemacht, vor und hinter mir auch. Ne? Ja. Hingedreht, äh, nach Semmel hier die ersten Reifen gewechselt, in der ersten Runde noch, muss ich da rausfinden. Hab mich kurz eingedreht und musste, ja, hab ich fünf Sekunden verloren. Ja. Also ich glaube, ich habe keinen Unfall gehabt. Ich hatte auch äh, zwei Slowdowns. Ein Slowdown gehabt, ansonsten null. Gar nichts. Oh. Kein Unfall, kein, kein Antipsau, kein überhaupt nichts. Ich hatte, hatte in der... Als der beim, beim, beim zweiten Boxstopp habe ich ja keine Reifen gewechselt. Bin ich rausgefahren, zwei Runden lang ging noch und danach hatte ich auf einmal jede Kurve Schritt auf Bremse entweder. Hat dann irgendwie gar nicht gebremst. Hatte ich dann nicht gebremst. Ich bin geradeaus aus der Bremse raus, äh, aus der Kurve raus. Oder wenn ich in der Kurve gebremst habe, ich bin vorne direkt gegangen. Ja. Patrick, komm mal ein bisschen hier den Rang. Ich muss dann nachher mal gucken. Meine Runde 24. Da äh, geht uh, yeah, in der Porsche vor, bei Vollgas der Arsch weg und ich mache den Sieg hier ohne irgendwo einzumachen. Ich wusste, er war auf low fuel. Das war der Grund, warum er in den Sieg hat. Auf jeden Fall, äh, Thorstens Auto erkennt man mega gut. Komm mal hier so nebeneinander fahren hier, das Camp Dong Team. Komm mal hier nebenher. Ach so, sag das doch. Ja. Also war schon richtig cool. Ja und zum Schluss, zum Schluss, zum Schluss war es dann so, dass irgendwie äh, der Drittplatzierte, der, der hat zwei Sekunden verloren. Oh, ich weiß nicht, also entweder hatte der einen Unfall gehabt. Entweder hat er ja, weil ich habe dann irgendwie pro Runde zwei Sekunden aus dem gut gemacht. Dann hat er mich einmal vorbeigelassen sogar. Und äh, dann habe ich, hab ich quasi einen äh, Ausritt gehabt, wo er mich dann wieder zurück überholt hat und dann habe ich den wieder gecasht. Ja. Ja, war schon richtig cool. Ja. Und am Schluss habe ich gemerkt, wie plötzlich mit einem Schlag ging meine Taktik auf. Und ich habe die ganze Zeit gedacht, scheiße, 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 scheiße. Also ich habe auch nur einmal... Nein, bis zum letzten Box. Ja, ask me why I chose this one. Oh ja, why did you choose the HPD? Also ja, der Diva hat seine Kiste weggeworfen. Ja, am Anfang genau hat auch einer aus der Führungsebene <lacht> oder Führungsriege. Hier, hier hatte ich einen also ein, 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 ein Ausritt, aber Gott sei Dank wurden zwei eingeschlagen. Bei Smiley sieht man schön. Ja. Hinten auf dem Arsch. Ich hoffe, er nicht zuhört, aber ich werde einfach jedes Fahrer, den er wählt, bis er den ersten Platz hätte noch gebraucht. Dann hätte er noch fünf Platz gewonnen. Ja, also sechster Platz ist undankbar, vierter und zweiter. Das sind so die Scheißplätze. Meiner ist doch Hammer, geil. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Ich war 20 Sekunden hinter dem Erstplatzierten. Und das sind dann zwei Stunden, zwei Stunden Rennen. Das ist schon okay. Da habe ich vorhin erst noch so gedacht, wenn ich gehe jetzt aus für den an. Aber wenig, wenig Fall und Fall. Ich glaube, die Schocken ja nochmal überholen. Da habe ich ja gesehen, dass direkt danach kam der erste. Ich denke so, mm. wenn ich den angetippt hätte, dann hätte ich mit der 5 Platzierung gemacht. <lacht> ja, wir hätten wahrscheinlich aber dann mega Strafe gekriegt. So, wenn da <lacht> die sehen aber gleich aus wie Autos da. Das ist ja ein Porsche und das ist ein Essen. Wir haben überhaupt nichts miteinander zu tun. Wir fahren nur manchmal selbst eben. Ja. Ich ja, ja. Du hast nochmal Dankeschön fürs Setup auf jeden Fall. Das war gut. Ja, ich hab noch mal von euch. 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 Ich
Freut mich, dass es euch gefallen hat. Ja, ja, aber wenigstens, wenigstens ein Einäugiges hier unter geschnitten hier und die Ich hätte hier Basic Setup und ein bisschen rumgeschraubt, bis ich mich verrannt hätte, bis es geht nicht Ach ja. So, we're closing that top device. So, quick. Really? Yes. Und hey. Oh ja, Le Mans war dieses Jahr wirklich mega. Weiter hast du rein geholt. Ich muss noch mehr. Ich muss einfach gucken, dass wir einen geilen Server kommen, oder? Ja, vielleicht, hat es, vielleicht hat er ja so eine Temperaturabschaltung da, ne? Ja. Ich hab ihn ja ausgemacht und hab ihn jetzt gerade wieder angemacht und da passiert nichts. Oh ja. ja vielleicht ist einfach ein yeah. Hat der von der Oben-Schal her zu überhaupt den Trailer? Ich hab das hier äh, nach so einer Empfehlung im Internet gekauft. Ich denke, du hast gehört, was ich gesagt habe. Das ist ein Sonderpass. Ja, kannst du denn? So, wo muss ich hin zum Interview oder was? Ich fühle mich wie ein Radion, aber die hast du, wenn, wenn hier das Interview okay. ist, dann ist schon zu Ende. Hast du denn mal geschaut? Also das ist mittlerweile nicht gewünscht, wenn ich das ja, ich habe das nur unterschätzt, weil die Reifen waren bei. Es bringt es einfach wieder besser. Du weißt, du bist in einem Umfeld, wo du mit jemandem zu tun hast. Okay, das geht aber noch. Da bin ich aber noch weiter. Ich konnte danach nicht mehr fahren. 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 Rutsch hinten, rutsch vorne, Bremse antippen, sofort quer stehen und so. Okay, aber so mit der Bremse, das war alles okay, nicht, dass da irgendwie... Dass die Bremse nee. springt oder sowas, ne? Das Jetzt, also nach, hier. Nach dem Reifenwechsel war wieder alles noch. Ja, okay. Ja, wer weiß, vielleicht auch mit dem Sprit oder was, dass ich andere Ballons im Auto hast, so heißt das. Okay. Das ist aber halt auch generell, ne? Geht ja eigentlich kein GTA, ist schon schwer zu fahren. Ja, das ist schon ja. schwer zu fahren. Ich weiß schon, warum ich, ich, weiß schon, warum ich Porsche gefahren bin. Ja, ist ja nicht so, dass ich keinen Spaß habe. Und was mir aufgefallen ist, weil ich den dann ja auch mit dick schalte, ne? Ja. Mit meinem Schaltknopf. Neigst dazu, dann viel mit einer Hand zu fahren. Ja. Und der Force Feedback ist so krass, mir tut die Tat jetzt weh. Wir fahren ja so einen Schein. Ja. ja. <lacht> Merke ich so eine anderthalb Stunden auf einmal, ich denke, oh kacke, Junge. Ich muss aufpassen, dass ja. er immer die Hand zurück. Ja. Oh, gespeichert. <lacht> yes. Zweiter Platz. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Hallo? Wo ist er weg? Jetzt hat er irgendwas rausgezogen. Herzlichen Glück. Ja. Darf ich nicht herzlichen Glückwunsch sagen? Doch, natürlich. Aber du warst, du hast nur herzlichen, also. du hast nur herzlichen und dann warst du auf einmal weg. Okay, ja. ist das irgendwie nicht mehr, habe ich wahrscheinlich mal mit einem Sekundenbruchteil zu früh hochgeklappt. Ja, aber tatsächlich die, äh, die Spritzmenge, die ich ursprünglich ausgerechnet habe, die, äh, da hätte ich nicht mit hingekommen. Wäre ich nicht mit hingekommen. Wie viel hast du denn äh, getankt? Ich hab 85. Okay. okay. Interessant. Wir hatten irgendwie ausgerechnet, ich muss 270 tanken oder sowas, ne? Hätte nicht erreicht. Ja. Nee, nicht, nicht 200, 244. Am Ende des Tages habe ich jetzt 255 getankt. Ja, okay. Ja, weißt du, was möglich ist, dass du durch Windschatten fahren mehr Sprit verbrauchst. Mhm. Aber ja. dreht dann ja höher. Ich denke, ohne Windschatten kommst du nicht bis in die Grenze, oder? Nee. nee doch, kam's. Nee, nicht ganz. Nee, nee, doch, weißt du was? Ja, ab und zu mal. Du musst die gut erwischen. Du musst die gut erwischen. Die Außer, ah, der Ausgang muss halbwegs sitzen und danach musst du ähm, in der Mitte von der Straße fahren. Ganz genau in der Mitte. Das ist der Mittelstreifen unter dem Auto. Hast. Ja, also jetzt kommt die Erklärung. Weil die Straße, da diese, die hat so eine leichte die Krone. Die ist in der Mitte höher als am Rand. Okay. Wenn, du mit deinem, wenn du mit deinem ziemlich tief liegenden GTE oder GT-Auto genau in der Mitte fährst, ist das Auto aerodynamisch gesehen 
tiefer als es eigentlich ist und hat weniger Drag. Ah, okay. Ja, wow. Das stimmt, ich habe das, hab das gestern ein paar Mal ausgefahren. Also wenn du die ganze Zeit wirklich halbwegs genau in der Mitte fährst, hast du am Ende 2, 3, 4 km mehr drauf. Mhm. Die Nummer 75, the, the Black Tree Race Crew and GTEs, because he's got a little bit of a fight in his hands with Stevens now. Porsche chasing the Corvette as Thomas looking left and right. He goes to the right side. He's got a little bit of an overlap, but he's early on the brake. So ghost contact between them is going to shove the Corvette off track. Uh, Silverdale in the number 75, that puts him up to 11th in class. We just had the car go upside down in the main uh, Pat 15. The Pat 3 race crew car has rolled over and it's getting going again. A lot of damage to the 75 Porsche, but it's back on its wheels and it can keep going.